get right back into this. Uh, Michu Kaku will be calling us within minutes. Ah. And uh, right now, our good friend, it's been six months he was just telling us, which Man. is unbelievable. Uh, Jim Jeffries, who's going to be at Caroline starting tonight, Jim? We weren't um, sure. I'm here tonight, yeah, right through till Sunday. 212-757-4100. The shows are going to do very, very well. So if you want to see Jim this time around, get on the phone immediately and uh, book your tickets to uh, his Caroline's gigs. Okay? Never, never heard one person say one bad thing about Jim's show either. Uh, it's, it's like you've heard, you've heard a lot of people say bad things about me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your show but the show. is like really good. <laughs> yeah, and and he was just telling us that he lives in Venice. Yeah, yeah, Venice, right on the beach. And we were California, at, by the way, not yes. the uh, gondola. Not, oh, right, right. <laughs> you know, that would suck. And and I'm like, wow, that's got to be cool. And you're right on the beach in Venice. A lot of people like that area, but you said it's cool. But at night, just all junkies. the junkies come out, right? Well, I don't think I don't think there's a, there's a place closer to the water with more junkies than Venice. Really? I, I, I got this one, but I think I mentioned this once on the show. I'm, I'm, I might not have, but one time I was like. Uh, like, like, they've got this guy who just, he just crashes out at like any, th he's a meth addict, so he sometimes crashes out at two or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, they make their own hours, so don't they? So, I'm in yeah. the, <laughs> so, I, and he does it on my doorstep, and I'm scared of him, so I'm like, alright, mate, each day, you know. And so I'm in the, I'm in the house playing, uh, Nintendo Wii. Like doing the boxing, I'm making a few noises and yelling and cunt at the screen and all that, right? <laughs> right, little computer. He shoves his head through the window and goes, "Hey, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to sleep here." <laughs> and it's like two in the afternoon inside oh, my house. Shit, in it's your like your own house. <laughs> and I'm like, "All right, mate, yeah, you sorry. shut the fuck up." Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, shut that the Venice fuck up. is a weird area. But you know, that's bizarre. Right. But and you were saying every night there's a helicopter. There's, there's a, always there's always a helicopter going over the top, just circling around with a spotlight. With that giant yeah. light, yeah. yeah, just trying to find someone jumping over looking fences, for, looking for someone. <laughs> yeah, jumping over fences, waking you up you're as you're trying to dogs. sleep. Dogs. Yeah, I'm always amazed how fast those helicopters get up. Like, I understand for road chases and stuff like that, but it's mostly they're looking for someone hiding in a garden, aren't they? Like next yeah, to yeah, some, yeah. next to some bins, under some sort of yeah, they use heat there. sensors. Those yeah. they can sense body heat. You can't really? hide. You can't hide from those things. Yeah, they use like infrared. What is it's, a lot of people? Just, remember, remember um, I think I, I talked about this like two years ago on the show. Is I had that that break in with a guy with a knife. Oh, yeah, stuff, yeah. So when I was in the court case for that, because they they left, they stole my car and they drove off like that, right? And then the, they there was a big police chase, and then there was helicopter footage of the police chase that they showed in court. <laughs> with right? your car? With my car. But they just gave me my car back, right? So I'm sitting there in court. This, I've never even heard about this chase. They just said, oh, we caught him, right? <laughs> oh, right? So I'm, sit I'm sitting in the docks, right? And, I'm, and they go, we'll just show the footage of the car. I'm going, that's why the suspension's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is they just gave you a car back. They just gave me a car back. After a police chase. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going over speed humps through people's gardens and stuff. They never stacked it, though. <laughs> Sparks shooting out as he goes over. <laughs> 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 Shit. That's classic. Here's your car back, sir. We've re we've done our job. We've returned it, they, it. They gave it back, and then it, it was it was the suspension was fucked, and uh, and then they sort of fingerprinted the car, which I think if you catch him in the car. But the thing was, they they stopped the car, then they <laughs> left the vehicle and they ran on you know foot. How else do you run? Oh, so there was like black powdery shit everywhere. Well, the thing was, the reason why the two of them never got convicted was because they testified against each other. They never got convicted. No, the written. No, sorry, not not convicted. The reason that they pleaded innocent was because they were con uh, they went against each other. Right, they said right. that they said, oh no, I was just walking along and he picked me up in his in the car and he was driving. And the other one said, no, no, he was. I was just walking along with friends, and he picked me up. I, I think one of them is lying. <laughs> yeah, you know, one of them is lying. <laughs> well, but both, both of them had balaclavas on in the middle of June. You know, what about, like balaclavas, like woolly, like uh, ski masks. Oh, okay. <laughs> ski masks, right? Oh. And uh, in the middle of June, with one had a machete and one had a hammer, and they were like, "Nah, it's just fucking. It's just nah, I just I just always hanging. walk around like that's that. Just yeah, that's just how you chill. roll. You know. Yeah, they're yeah. getting out next year, I think. Fucking Are they? Oh, that's fun for you. Yeah, yeah. Back and and I've, I've you talked up. about and you're the reason why they're in jail. I've basically. talked about it on radio and on TV and all because I've always been happy that they're in prison. Like <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> and you think of that? That ten years yeah, is a long fucking time. It's going to take forever. And then I then I think to myself, Ah, what what difference does it make? They'll never. Find me. Just go to my web page, boys. Yeah, I, yeah. I, you can find everywhere I am at oh. any minute of the day. Dad, <laughs> do, do, do you think about that at all? Well, I assume with their records, they're not allowed to leave Britain. So I'm just going to worry about it on the British tours. Why I'm, you know, why I'm playing, you know. Uh, 
uh, hilarities in Cleveland. I'm not going to fret yeah. about it too much. But uh, apart from that, yeah, yeah. I, I think one day maybe they're going to come after you, man. For what? They fucked you. Yeah, they just yeah. got caught. And look, they you have they broke into your house. I love Jim's logic. I but that makes Jeffrey's uh, sleep at night, right? I, well, I, yeah, I kind of think that's still got to well. be in the back of his head. They, right? they, 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 they broke in. The thing is, yeah, yeah they, they can't blame me for. And but also, I think blame you for having that if, shitty if, car that couldn't outrun the cops, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. It was, it was the best car I ever had. That's the reason. Yeah, that's the reason. It was, a, like, it was a five-year-old BMW. It was the nicest car I ever had. Oh man, that I that car I think was part of the reason they broke into the house. It was such a nicely really? kept house car. Yeah, as well. I remember the whole thing was they going, "Where's your fucking keys?" Right? And he had the knife mm. to my throat. Where's the fucking yeah, key? Right here, sir. And I'm there going, even in the morning. When I'm not got a knife to my throat, it takes me a little while to find yeah, him. Yeah, to find him, so... Yeah. <laughs> so give me a, give me a bit of a break I'm, right now. I'm not holding out on you. I yeah, forgot right. all the details of, of the story. Did they just kick the door in? No, no, no. One of them, they climbed up... Uh, we, we were still at home watching TV, me and my mate Steve, and uh, they climbed up through the second story window, uh, which the bathroom was, because there was a drain pipe that came out uh -huh. from there. So they scurried up the drain pipe. You didn't have that window locked, did you? And we had it. Well, we were in the house. We had it open, oh, and so they went through the window and went climbed through, going down the stairs and let the other person in. Ah. Uh, and then we, I was watching TV, and then all of a sudden the machete, the machete comes in. You're just like, oh, this little, is great. Little, you know, this is Ant's worst nightmare. Fucking, I'm sure we've talked about it over the years, but, but this is this home is invasions the, is people, his people worst nightmare. People say this whole thing. Oh, if you had a gun, there was nothing I could have done. It didn't Why? matter because I was, I was. Imagine just sitting in your chair like that. Yeah. The first thing I know about it is a knife going like that. Yeah. Right, because he comes from the door behind me. Once you're held hostage, it doesn't matter how much firearms you have. So in you, never, uh, you never, you never, know, you yeah. never heard him coming. First no. of all, wow, I wouldn't have. Like the when, I, when, I heard the foot, when I heard the <laughs> footsteps on the stairs, I assumed that was my girlfriend who was asleep next door going up to the bathroom. Mm. So we didn't even flinch at that. Didn't even think. Hey, uh, we got we got to interrupt because we got Michu Kaku on the line, and, oh. and he only has like twenty minutes. So. Oh, twenty. <laughs> he's our he's our friend there, uh, Michu Kaku. How are you, sir? Very good. It's, ah. it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. And, 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 uh, and you're, uh, you're you're now all over TV. You're becoming yes. a big TV star, sir. Oh, well, thank you. You're Ed. the go-to guy now. Uh huh. Yeah, I see him on. Uh, <laughs> I see him on all, all the news shows whenever they need uh, physicists. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Kaku is always on there uh, because you know why? He can tell people things that are normally very complex in very simple layman's terms. Which is very appreciated. Well, thank you. Ah, we were talking you, about sir. UFOs yesterday and the earthquake that hit uh, Chile. Yeah, that and, was a big one about the. Um, let's start with the earthquake an eight point eight, and it, it messed up the Earth a little bit. And what slowed down slowed down the Earth for it for a little bit? Up the Earth a little bit. Uh, the Earth now uh, rotates one point two six microseconds faster. I felt so that. So this is not going to shorten your work week. <laughs> You're not going to fall off the earth. You're not going to have a shorter work week. Uh, but the earth is wobbling a little bit, and uh, the day is shorter. You'll have a shorter work week if you live in Chile, though. Because <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, it depends well, on how the building you work is. Yeah. You know. Now, now they have shorter homes too. <laughs> too soon? Do, do you want me to do a Haiti joke instead? I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> the wobble, the wobble, and the knocking off its axis. Now, I, from what I understood, from what I read, was it wasn't the actual axis of rotation. It's the axis of mass of the Earth. Uh, well, basically the same thing. Uh, the it's like ten feet apart. Is three inches. Uh, think of a skater that brings in his or her arms. Uh, the skater spins faster when the arms come Topical. in. Right. Well, that arm is the mass of dirt that collapsed in Chile. The Earth actually got shrunken a little oh, bit. Oh, right. And as the Earth shrinks a little bit, just like a skater bringing in his or her arms, you spin faster. Now think of a skater oh. with one arm. One I, arm, bringing one arm in, you're gonna wobble. the skater will begin to wobble a little bit, right? All right. And so, that's why the Earth is now shifted three inches away from its ordinary axis. Now, that has to mean something. You're saying that uh, we're not really noticing, but eventually will we notice? What? Well, this is permanent. Uh, this is a permanent feature oh, that's of good. the Earth. Can we, can we gain before. dirt and make it's it happened. go slower again? <laughs> yeah, every China yeah. man has to jump up and down. <laughs> yeah, you know, every monster earthquake, like the uh, 9.5 earthquake of 1960 that also hit Chile, yes. that also set the Earth wobbling a 
little bit, and the day shrunk by six microseconds uh, back in 1960. Really? What's a, what's wow. a microsecond? A millionth of a second. Uh. How, how do you measure six millionths of a second? Like, how, what scale does it, is so sensitive that it picks that up? It's like the Chicago's watch. Uh, well, for yes. example, the GPS system. Uh, the GPS system that orbits the Earth, that, takes, that calculates your position to within a few feet, that's accurate to within one part in ten billion, the wow. GPS system. So the GPS system should be able to pick up uh, very slight variations in the Earth's rotation. And also the space program. Uh, the space mm -hmm. program has to know the exact mass of the Earth, the distribution of, of rock in the Earth, uh, to send probes into deep space. So this is not going to this is not going to affect your day. Your day is not going to be affected at all. You know, he put it in such easy terms, the skater, the yeah. arms pulling in and and that mass of earth falling in toward the center a little bit That's is it. going to make it wobble and make it spin a little yeah. faster. Amazing. Um now we were also talking about UFOs. Now what what is your take on UFOs first uh, briefly just to get a little background on your take on UFOs. Yeah, cuz Anthony's got a new theory and uh, I hope you're prepared for this one. Well, it's not a theory as much as it is an observation. Oh uh, yeah, I guess yeah, you're right, Ant. Observation. Okay. Well, I get a lot of UFO reports in my email box and I'd say about 95% of them can be dismissed as weather balloons, meteorites, uh -huh, okay. uh, the planet Venus, radar Lies, echoes, yeah. swamp gas. Lies. Uh, a handful, a handful of them, however, makes your skin crawl. Mm. Uh, a handful of them really uh, give you the willies. The most reliable and hardest to explain are multiple modes, multiple sightings. In other words, the famous JAL sighting off the coast of Alaska where the pilots saw something flying next to them. It was tracked by radar. It was seen by the pilots. It was seen by the passengers. Mm. And that is the hardest of all the UFO sightings to debunk because what could be flying next to an airplane that's seen by radar and seen by the pilot. And yeah. it, Dr. Con, if it was a military, a military test plane, the pilot knows enough about aer aeronautics and all that stuff to understand the way even an advanced military plane would be flying, right? Right. In principle. Mm. Yeah, either it's a very advanced military plane, some kind of stealth bomber, or who knows, maybe it's something from another planet. We don't know. But those are the hardest. Those are the hardest to explain. Here, here's what uh, my take on it is. Uh, uh, back in the 50s and 60s and even into the 70s, uh, we would occasionally get photographs of uh, UFOs, um, flying saucers, whatever the, the hell people wanted to call them. And uh, people would just paw over them and be amazed by them and everything. And now uh, it's, it's you know, we're, we're well into the 2000s here. Mm -hmm. uh, there, everybody has cameras on their phones. They're the flip uh, cams. They they just cameras all over them. Their hats. They, yeah, ca hat cam. Uh, <laughs> but it just seems like we're not get if if the the UFO phenomenon was so widespread, we would get better pictures, more of them. Now that people have the cameras that they're ready to just pull out, you can't. You know, you know, uh, a cop can't beat anybody up anymore yeah, but, without cameras. But the being thing out. is, for that airplane one, you're not allowed to have your phone on the airplane, are you? I oh, so. take pictures. I've taken <laughs> video out the window so many so, times. Well, uh, how many years ago was that the uh, the Japan Airline uh, thing you're talking about? It happened in the '80s. Okay, so everybody didn't have mm -hmm. the portable camera phone. Yeah, yet. but now, I mean, with so many phones, shouldn't there just, you know, just by the odds, there should be more pictures of uh, strange uh, flying saucers or? Yeah, this should be, but remember the smoking gun, the smoking gun that would end all the debate is reproducible evidence. That is DNA from an alien, alien chip, alien pen, alien... Mm. Yeah, but a, a, oh, UFO, yes. a UFO doesn't mean alien, though, does it? It just means I'm a no, it means you don't know what it is. It can be something the military has. Yeah, but that would end the debate right now if somebody could produce alien DNA. If they've been abducted, fine. You know, uh, you know, give up some of your DNA and see whether there's any, any alien DNA there. That mm. would end the debate. How do we know it's alien DNA? Because, uh, you know, we know pretty much the nucleic acids of our DNA. Well, you know. A, B, C, G. If it's a <laughs> yes. letter of the alphabet. <laughs> exactly. It would be alien. What about the uh, reports that they've done? And again, it couldn't be ab accurate or it'd be on the front page of the Times. They've done uh, where they've found little pieces of metal in people that have supposedly been put there. And they say that they're from, they're not uh, things from this planet. 
people that are uh, well, have... again, no one's ever no one's ever verified this. You know, you have to be able to put mm-hmm. it into a mass spectrograph. You have to be able to you have a scanning t- a microscope to analyze these things. No one's mass ever produced anything that could be analyzed, and yeah. that would be the aha moment. Uh, that would that would end the debate right then. How big is a mass spectrograph? Uh, well, a mass spectrograph is the size of a table. Okay. And yeah. anything a good one. would have one. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you ha- if if you claim that you've Should been abducted that by IKEA? an alien craft, yeah. you know, target one of the pens target? there. Did you say target? <laughs> oh. Yeah. I didn't even hear you. I, uh, yeah, because, you know, we need that irrefutable proof, uh, like you said, something, something they left behind, uh, some kind of material that is uh, completely alien to us. Right. Uh-huh. And until we get that, p- no pictures or video or anything is going to be rock-solid proof. Okay, right. but, but most people are in agreement that there are aliens. No, uh, Kaku doesn't believe in aliens. Right, no, I, I, I believe. Right. I, 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 mean, believe I, I don't believe they've visited, but I believe they're out there. You, it has to you be. believe they're out there? Of course yeah, you do. I, they're out there. Of course. However, the distances are so large that they would have to be a few thousand to a few million years ahead of us in technology. Well, I don't. I don't think that's true either, because I think. So, when was the Wright brothers? Right? How long ago was that? Yeah, uh, 20 early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. Okay. So, a hundred years ago, let's say, the mm-hmm. Wright brothers. And now we've got the fucking stealth bomber in a hundred years. Give us another hundred years. Fuck it, we can same, go anyway. It's just the same, uh, no, it's the same see, principle. We're a very though. primitive, we're a very primitive type zero civilization. Uh, you have to be at least type <laughs> two before you have enough energy to yeah. go between star systems. Right. Now, have you so, heard about this new plasma engine? Uh, yeah, but again, that's, a, that's, that's just go to Mars. And that's yeah, but at Mars in, in a little over a month would be pretty nice. Uh, but it would take 70,000 years for a plasma engine to reach the nearest star. 70,000 so, years. So, wow. say, even though we're impressed, we should, we should by, start even though we're impressed by that yeah, new technology, it's still <laughs> nothing. 70,000? Longest journey starts with the first step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no need to wait. Yeah. <laughs> and plus, where would, you, where would you stop for gas? I think that's the question. <laughs> 70,000 years. Now, is that uh, Proxima Century or Alpha Century? Uh, that's right. That's the nearest star system, four and a half or so light years away. So our our space probes are very slow compared to the speed of light. You need new physics. You have to have uh, solar sails. You have to have laser uh, uh, sails. You have to have, pla- you have fusion engines. You need a whole new technology to get close to the speed of light. And even then, it would take a few decades. Is it? How, yeah. Yeah. How do you harness the energy? To, fi- to to either slingshot yourself or whatever to go at what would be close to the speed of light. Even at the speed of light, it would take four and a half years. I mean, there's no faster way to get there. Mm. How do you harness that kind of energy? Uh, well, you know, in my program, Sci-Fi Science, on the Science Channel, I did yes. a whole episode on what a starship would look like. And even then, to go near the speed of light, you would have to have huge laser batteries on the moon. You would have to have fusion engines and stuff like that. You would have to go to warp drive to, to make star travel efficient. And warp drive would take a technology thousands of years more advanced than us. And that's why these aliens, if they really exist at all, would probably be thousands to millions of years ahead of us when warp drive is not such a far-fetched. Well, what yeah. is warp drive, though? Like, we heard it on Star Trek, but what actually is it, like, uh, scientifically? Uh, well, it's, warp drive is basically contracting the space in front of you so that you do not go to the stars. The stars come to you. Basically, you compress. You compress the distance between you and the nearest star. You, is, is that like the Hawking's idea of folding the planet, the universe, and then you... Like a piece of paper, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like walking across the carpet. Instead of walking across the carpet, you simply squeeze the carpet and simply hop across. How do you do that? So what yes, about... Thing? What about now? Are you Much actually easier, pulling a planet towards yeah. you, or are you just compressing the space? The, the planet or the star is not moving. Uh, yeah, nothing really moves at all. Inside the starship, you don't move at all. Uh, it comes to you, right? So you basically hop across compressed space. So space compresses in the forward direction, and you simply hop across. Now, Einstein had a, made a mistake in his equations. If you actually Dummy. exploit the loophole <laughs> in one of his equations, then warp drive is possible. It's so controversial because the energy necessary to do this is the energy of a, a very advanced civilization, you know, thousands yeah, I would of years assume. ahead of us. You know what I always uh, thought, like, uh, trying to achieve that, that um, you know, speed of light. Wow, that's like the big thing that uh, uh, is unachievable or everybody wants to achieve it. How about a gigantic centrifuge, right, built in space? Yeah. And this thing starts whipping around. Now, the size alone with the, the arm of this centrifuge, couldn't you get that thing spinning uh, uh, and, and make it approach the speed of light? 
If the uh, arm is long enough? No. Uh, you couldn't do it. You couldn't get close to the speed of light. <laughs> I, <laughs> I invested in that last week. Silly, <laughs> silly boy. Yeah. Why, why, now, now, why, why, why couldn't, couldn't you? that work with a long enough... Uh, <laughs> you said that was such like, I yeah, I've got to sort it. Because I'm thinking like and with Kaku a long goes, enough no. arm, with a long enough no. arm, like the outside... Just keep going saying it doesn't make it so. It is. The outside of a wheel... Mm -hmm. spins uh, faster than the inside of a wheel. The, sure. the rotation is the same, the right. same RPM, but right. the speed is is different. Right. Now, so if you have a long enough arm and you're spinning it around and around, couldn't you keep extending that arm out and increasing the speed? Theoretically, of course. The problem is the centrifuge gets heavier. Uh, mass gets heavier the faster you move. The faster you move, the slower time beats and the heavier you get. So the energy of motion... I move very fast. <laughs> yeah. So what, Doctor? So the centrifuge gets heavier and heavier and heavier as you try to get close to the speed of light. So the energy it would take would be more and more and... and you... The energy necessary to get that centrifuge to work. Uh, we w we wouldn't have a chance to pass his class. But this, this is why he, this is why he talks to us in very like small terms. Can we ask him a science like to talk in science? We all just get dumb and silent afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's yeah. true. That's why he's laughing. I right. just assume, but because uh, I, I was just thinking on very simple terms, uh, I'm not thinking of the physics of it, where the mass would actually uh, uh, be too much for for the energy needed to spin that giant uh, arm around. To get the speed of light, I'm just thinking in basic, simple terms <laughs> I love of a bicycle what, I love wheel. watching you talk about science right now because you got food on your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I, just think that, I just think that upsets the whole situation. <laughs> I have a tomato seed on me, and I'm trying to talk. I'm like, just, like well, sling blade over here. I, 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 I have a question about uh, about yeah. wormholes. Yeah, sure. How Now, if you found a wormhole... How yeah. big is a wormhole, and how do you get into it to transport? Tiny, and you use a spoon. Oh, okay. Or you wait till it rains, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the worm comes out. <laughs> you. The, there's a theory that says that at the center of a spinning black hole, there's going to be a wormhole. That at the oh, center of a black ones. hole, you don't have mm. a dot. That's the old picture. You have a ring, okay. a spinning ring. How big? Uh, well, it depends on the size of the black hole itself. The ring could actually be quite large. For a galactic black hole, uh, the mm. ring could be the size of the orbit of Mercury, for example. Wow. So the ring could be quite large, and if you fall through the ring, you don't necessarily die. Gravitational forces are finite as you go through the ring, and it would be like going through the looking glass of Alice. So think of the Alice's looking glass. Oh. You know, the rim of the looking glass is the black hole. The rim of the looking glass. You put your hand <laughs> through the glass, and you wind up on the other side of forever. So that would be a Kerr black hole, which is what we call a wormhole. But how would you not get ripped apart going into the black hole? Oh. Uh, you have to calculate it, right? Uh, yeah. First of all, the center of the black hole has finite gravity, and the larger the black hole, the less the gravitational tidal force is inside. So if I have a galactic black hole, it would it, the tidal forces wouldn't actually be quite large at all. You could actually go right through. Now, the problem is radiation. That's what splits we physicists on uh, this question, how much radiation is there going to be as you go through? Mm. That we don't know. But Einstein's equations clearly allow you to go through a black hole. It's just a question of radiation, whether the radiation will kill you or not. Clearly allows you to. Yes. That <laughs> Einstein. Well. Okay, so that's the theory. And so how, would you know where the, how would you know where the wormhole dumps you out? How would you calculate that? Or how would, you, would, would, there, would there be like roots built where people kind of knew you go through that black hole and you get over there and vice versa? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's the big question. Uh, there's a new type of wormhole called transversible wormhole that the physicists at Caltech came up with. If you have something called negative matter, it turns out that you can go back and forth freely through the wormhole and uh, perhaps even use it as a time machine or a, a stargate to an, another, another Ooh, sector of, of the Milky Way galaxy. I always However, uh, negative matter is quite rare. We've never seen negative matter before. But if you have negative matter, it's a loophole in Einstein's equations. Einstein himself never considered negative matter. Now, would negative matter just cancel out matter? Uh, no. Uh, negative matter falls up. It doesn't no fall down. Yeah. So oh. if there was negative matter on the Earth, it would have left the Earth billions of years ago. It'd be floating in outer space. Oh, okay. So one of these days, we may find an, a negative matter meteorite in outer space, just like the dilithium crystals of Star Trek. Of course. The what? dilithium crystals would be made out of negative matter. What is a, uh, what, what exactly is a, uh, oh, I forgot my question. Oh, negative God. matter. Oh, what is, what is the dark uh, matter in the universe? Do they know what that is yet? Stupid you oh, yeah, dark yeah. matter is invisible hole. matter that we hope to create with the Large Hadron Collider, uh, which is operating right now. Uh, Hazon Collider? 
We hope to make it. Oh, oh that's, that's the thing where, where they're going around in a circle. Yes. In, yeah. in Switzerland. I, I know about that. I like that. There you go. It's called yeah. a carousel, the yeah. way you describe it. <laughs> 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 and there's horses and you go up and down. It's yeah. teacups. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's right. We have, uh, we have Jim Jeffries in studio. You want to ask him a question, Jim? We've asked him all just, the questions well, so far. All, all this stuff great about the, here. the going through the black holes and you could cut through time. I don't think that's possible. You can, you can never, you could never cut through time because if it was possible, someone would come back and tell us. That's the one invention we'd be sure of, right? The paradox, you oh, know, well, of, yeah. it, of it all. If you go backwards in time and meet your teenage mother before you're born... You're just quoting Back to the Future now. Yeah, yeah, then what happens is you've entered an alternate reality. The river of time can fork into two smaller rivers. So you basically jump stream from one river to the other river. Yeah, and what you've met is oh, another person's teenage mother who happens to look just like your teenage mother. Right. But I, I imagine she would have been fat mother. back then as well. But, but then, <laughs> then uh, literally, if, if you, know, you, you wanted to uh, in an experiment, of course, you killed that woman, mm -hmm. you yourself would not die because it, in fact, is not your mother. Can I have sex with my mum or not? That's all I want to know. That's right. This, this is called quantum reality, that the world, the universe gets split into two rivers, and so you basically messed up another river, but your river is normal. Uh, right. You were born normally, you had a mother, you, you were born, you went to school, but when you hop stream, when you jump stream to this other river that forked from your river, then you've messed up their reality. What happens if someone else jumps into your river? Yeah. Well, then, yeah, then they can mess up your river pretty Oh, fast. I don't want to do... Well, then, wouldn't we know if this had happened? Can't we just swap well, rivers? You know, we're going to have invisibility within a few decades. Maybe they're invisible. You're, we you're have kidding. It. Are you kidding? We're getting producer. <laughs> you, you, were you serious when you said that? <laughs> Yeah, he's serious. Are you, are you serious that we're going to have invisibility? Like we okay, can. We already have invisibility with microwave radiation. That was done three years ago. No, but like a person. And at Berkeley, Caltech, and Karlsruhe, Germany, they're actually working on visible light. And they, they, we can show that visible light, in principle, will allow for invisibility. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I thought when they made the iPod, the world had gone as far as it could go. <laughs> the iPod! <laughs> but anyway, if you watch the Science Channel, my, my series yes. Sci-Fi Science had a whole episode on invisibility and a whole episode on starships. Yeah, so, it, uh, I, I, lo I love the show. I, mm -hmm. I, I really do. Is, is there going to be another season? That's right. We're going to start filming for the second season in a few weeks. Oh, congratulations. What, kind of, what kind of topics are you covering on that one? Yeah, it's, it's the number one. It's the number one uh, new show on the side. Oh yeah, it's it's amazing. It's a it's a lot of fun to watch and yeah. uh, and uh, really gets you thinking. Is that the sci-fi or the science channel? Science channel. Science science channel. channel. Science what uh what what kind of topics do you think you're going to be covering on the new season? Uh, we're, well, we're thinking of doing things like uh, you know how to uh, how to terraform a whole planet. You know how to recreate create a Garden of Eden on Mars. Oh, like the Genesis that? device. Yeah, yeah, like the Genesis device, right? Yes. And also, you know, robot wars. What happens when the robots take over? Right? How do we prepare for that, wow. for that moment? That's and also, tough. what aliens look like? You know, well, what is the most credible uh, reproduction of what an alien uh, would look like and what an alien civilization and and how would they? How would they? Uh, how would they navigate the galaxy? Uh, we have a whole episode on on alien. I technology. reckon they look like silver Down syndrome people. <laughs> really, silver? Why silver? It's where it was movies yeah, and stuff. All the movies they show. I think it's very dependent well, on the planet they come from and uh, yeah, gravity yeah. and mass of the planet no, and the sure, atmosphere. Because the gravity's heavy and it's pushing him down. I think like if if there was some type of life form uh, as we know it on on Jupiter, they would be very giant squat creatures uh, or because of the gravity. It takes place on a moon of a Jupiter-like planet. If you saw the movie, you yeah. see that it's really a moon. Pandora is a moon, ah. and it orbits around a Jupiter-like planet. Uh, that's like Europa, which we yes. actually think has a liquid ocean underneath the ice cover. A moon of Jupiter may actually have life on it. Hey, did you like Avatar? Oh, I thought it was great. Uh, you know, it was sort of like Dances with Wolves meets Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I thought, yeah. <laughs> it's always... It's like basically it's the story of the Ewoks. <laughs> and Pocahontas. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, as far as, as, far as uh, science goes, was there anything accurate in that movie? Uh, well, it is, it is set a hundred or so years in the future. However, right. uh, it may be possible for us to, to control <laughs> mentally a robot and eventually maybe even a clone. 
that's the whole basis of the movie mm -hmm. Avatar, right? Yeah. We can already control robots mentally using telepathy. You know, these uh, people can move hands. Hold on, let them finish. Sorry. Yeah. This has been done in Japan. In Japan, the robot Asimo can be hooked up to an EEG sensor to the brain. The brain sends out radio, and it can actually control four movements of the Asimo robot. The arms and the head can be controlled by mental telepathy. Uh, and uh, in the future, we may be able to just think and have robot butlers, robot maids, robot cooks do things uh, for us. Wow, that's good. And then there'll be like robot uh, rights people that will say Maybe. that we can't treat robots poorly. You have to and, pay them, uh, you know, minimum wage. Yeah, that's when they become aware and decide that they have more power than us, and then we get into the robot wars. Judgment day, man. Yep. Right. And then you get yeah, Robot yeah. Al. <laughs> yes. Well, we're going to talk about I am that. awesome. Uh, right. We're going to talk about what happens if the robots take over. How, how are we humans going to be able to gra grapple with that? Yeah, not, yeah. that. I think everyone should be checking out your show, uh, Doc. Well, it's a so, fun show. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, you know, we, we interview the top scientists. Hey, uh, Oscar's yeah. right around the corner. What was your What was your favorite movie of the year? It's totally off topic, obviously. Uh, well, you know, I like 2012. Uh, of course, it was science fiction, and I don't think anything's mm. going to happen in 2013. We're all going to be here in 2013. You think but it was so. a fun movie, you know. Well, it you really know, stretches the imagination. You explained on our show, and no one picked up on it, that that 2012 thing was a bunch of crap. But they're still talking about it like it's a real thing that's going to happen. Isn't there well, it's shelters? Westerners who hijack the Mayan prophecy. The Mayan prophecy never talked about Doomsday. It's a cyclical calendar. So the Westerners saw a way of making money off this uh, indigenous uh, uh, calendar, and so they hijacked it, writing books and all sorts mm. of different kinds of wild theories. Everyone puts their theory right on top of, of the Mayan prophecy, which is actually 2012 is a time of joy. It's a celebration. It's New Year's. It's oh, New Year's on really? the Mayan calendar. Well, I, that's that a little different, be, huh? I kind of would like a little thinning of the herd, to tell you the truth. <laughs> At this point, you know, the traffic this is a little much. With it. I'd get to work a lot quicker. We'd have less listeners, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, and I'm making it sound like I'd make it through. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone sounds, thinks they're the ones that are making it through. Talk to me, man. <laughs> I know. Hey, why do you think the uh, the weather seems completely out of control there, Doc? Uh, well, the reason why we're having snow, okay, first of all, it is a, a minor fluctuation in the, in the Earth. However, global warming does create more moisture. And moisture, when it hits cold air from the Arctic, turns into snowstorms. So ironically enough, if the Earth heats up and there's more moisture in the air, it means you have more swings, swings in the weather. You have more flooding in one area, more droughts in another area. And so realize that the American Southwest is having a drought right now uh, during the Olympics. That was the warmest winter Olympics on record, mm -hmm. even as we had snowstorms in the Northeast. Right. Yeah, so swings, swings in the weather is what global warming predicts. So you so you you buy into the fact that uh, we are um, changing the climate of the planet? Uh, well, it's uh, everyone believes that the Earth is warming up. Okay, even George W. Bush acknowledged that fact. The question is how much of it is driven by human activity, and with ninety percent yes. confidence, we can say that it's human activity. Really. Yeah. Even with volcanoes spewing all that, I mean, more, more uh, uh, sulfur and and stuff into the atmosphere than American or, or uh, uh, human factories can. Uh, well, right now there's not there's no Mount Pinatubo or there's no Krakatoa uh, shooting gigantic amounts of volcanic ash in the air. Right. Right now it's pretty quiet. We just have earthquakes instead. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of earthquakes going on. Oh, and also, speaking about earthquakes, by the way, I just want to mention one thing, and then i got to take off. Okay. Los Dr. Angeles Dr. will probably be the next site for a big, big earthquake. Uh, prediction. How's Venice looking? Why, why are you saying that, sir? Uh, I say that because the, the lower San Andreas Fault is cyclical. It breaks every 150 years on average. Mm. The last break was 1857. That's the last big so we're, uh, yeah. earthquake. So we're due. It was the last we're big break. Two. So we're over overdue. There. How big would the earthquake be? Well, we don't know. Uh, anywhere from 7.0 to 8.0 to maybe even so bigger. But all I'm saying is that the lower San Andreas Fault is cyclical, and it breaks roughly every 150 years. Of course, this is still black magic. No one knows for sure. But in our lifetime, in our lifetime, there's a good chance that Los Angeles, San Francisco, Tokyo, and Istanbul that one of those great cities will be destroyed in our lifetime. Uh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Well, no, I, I, I'm trying to buy a house in L.A., so you're saying hold off? For, <laughs> hold off. 
<laughs> uh, well, let's see um, if I can pick up some rubble nobody real cheap. Knows. Nobody knows what the next big one will be. All I'm saying is that even the U.S. government, even the U.S. government, the official U.S. government statement on the San Andreas Fault says that it's cyclical, it does break every 150 years, and the last one was 1857. That's a statement of the U.S. Geologic Survey. And the earthquake will be so big it'll destroy the, the entire city? Uh, well, the one scientist there was quoted as saying that every freeway in L.A. will be destroyed. Mm. Uh, natural gas lines will be broken, severed. Um, the Port of Los Angeles will be closed. And property damage could be $250 billion. That's but will we still get, tourism, man. Will we still get Dancing with the Stars? Uh, <laughs> That's uh, all <laughs> I, I really care about. Dr. Kaku. Let's let Dr. Kaku yeah, go. Oh, he's Thank a, you, Dr. A busy oh, man yeah. these days. He's all over the place. Dr. Michio Kaku, uh, you could catch him. Uh, when, when does the next season start? Uh, well, it starts in fall, but the reruns are uh, playing on the Science Channel. Check your local listings for the Science Yes. Channel. Yeah, we will, man. We uh, definitely will. He's really good. Uh, the shows are very entertaining and really get you thinking. Thank you again, Doctor. Okay, no problem. We love you, man. Thank Take you. Take care. Okay. Anytime. All right. I like when he says anytime. We haven't pissed him off yet. That's good. Well, yep. you know, That's me, good for us. Hold, hold on. Let me check my text. That guy's fucking oh, great. Oh, wow. Let me look at that. No Not Dr. one Steve. Dr. Steve calling him a... Stupid scumbag or anything like that. Dr. Steve hates Michio Kaku. Oh. Thinks he's a physics hack. <laughs> he yeah, really I, does. I understand. If you're in the same industry, I, I, you know, like, it's probably like when I watch a comedian that I don't think is very good, you, you know, I, I, that's a different argument. That yeah, Maybe yeah. he is a physics hack. Was, I thought he was good. That was right? some good stuff right there. He's good. He puts I, it, I always laugh, though, when he's got to put it in terms that, like, dummies can understand and he knows it like he could recite things in front of other physicists and we'd all just look like a deer in headlights and they'd all be going oh, oh, yeah, good point. Their chin. Uh, oh yes yes so he's got to go it is like a carpet being pulled towards you you think he says that in front of fucking no. physicists yeah, he just talks formulas with exactly yeah, yeah. i was about to say they just uh, yeah. blurt out numbers, <laughs> numbers and letters and, and brackets and fucking and symbols we don't even know what yeah. they yeah, that, mean that backwards a yes yeah, yeah, it's Shit. like alice in wonderland yes, yes. Going through the no the new one was through this, the Skater. I like the skater one. Like a skater pulling her arms but in. It's like he brought it for the Winter Olympics. Like, you know. Yes, it's like curling. Year he wouldn't do that. It's like curling. You must sweep in front of the spaceship to get it <laughs> to warp speed. <laughs> really? What? He, although it did explain it when he said of it's course, like one arm spinning. That makes sense. That's why he's yeah, popular. Because he can communicate yeah. to the dummies out there like you, us. We're thinking on small terms. You know, the planet is giant, but it is a size it does have a definitive size and mass so when there's an earthquake if you get a collapse of some of that outer crust uh it is going to throw off the uh Ugh. the balance of it that's creepy i'll tell you what that earthquake weird. thing scaring the shit out of me Just a lot of earthquakes no, the, the earthquake in la it's, oh. i'm really thinking about it uh, now yeah. well, well well the thing about that mm. too uh he's a ghoul because he kind of was <laughs> laughing as he was saying that, if you notice. It's like, <laughs> I will in our lifetime. You. And he just says it casually, like, we will lose a major city in our lifetime. It is to a, like to an earthquake. when Lex Luthor launched the missile into the San Andreas <laughs> <laughs> to make prime real estate in Arizona. <laughs> I remember that one. But when one. he said it was like a seven, what was Heidi? What was Heidi on the... 8.8. 8. Oh, okay. this is not as bad as Heidi. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Chile was 8.8. 8. Right. All right. Okay, we can do. Haiti was a we seven can, something. We yeah. can do a seven in LA. You know, a seven wouldn't be a problem for LA. Everything there is earthquake proof, and everything that's not deserves yeah, to be knocked down. That, they got those buildings on fucking springs. You ever see those buildings that are built on ball bearings? No. They're like giant fucking ball bearings, and and they're on little like uh, cupped little cupped supports, so that if there's an earthquake, the fucking earth moves and the building just stays still. I, I, fucked up. I would rather an earthquake than a tsunami. Yeah, I, th I think, I think I you'd think, get both with L.A. Yeah, you'd probably get both. You'd get you? both. But the, the tsunami, gone, the tsunami's so. got to scare the shit out of you. Then LAX would be gone, so there's no leaving or yeah. flying goods in. All those airports. Mm. Oh, what, what, just, what happened? I see it's funny, all the buildings, like on bowling balls, going to be rolling all over the place. <laughs> get chip. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chip. It's not very funny. As a matter of fact, Chip it sucks at humor.
Is this a new character? You know? Oh, fuck. Oh, it's it's Jim. Why, is he, why, why, why is is he, The is best he thing, thing is not to acknowledge he it. He might be impersonating no one else someone understands else. That. No, it is Chip. Chip Chipperson. It. And, uh, you know, uh, Chip, what do you, what do you think? What do you think of what Michio Kaku said about wormholes? <laughs> <laughs> a great place if you're going to go fishing. Get some worms and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it horrible? I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm actually, hate Chip. I've been on the radio with a guy like Chip before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chip. what makes it so funny. No and shit. And you're there going, I'm going to pick up the slack on this kind of fuck, you know. <laughs> no, it's fucking, I'm carrying them. <laughs> 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 I've had people like Chip who is their show. Yeah, yeah. You're not even the guest. I mean, yeah. It's like, what are you saying? This really? Is, yeah. It's not even the least bit funny. Yeah, you, just, you do this every day and people Trying listen. Trying to be funny. <laughs> uh, 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 anything? Uh, <laughs> Chip just uh, you uh, lob him up. Chip, Chip hits him uh, out of the park. Uh, <laughs> I just hear... Uh, Why don't we take a break? Jim Jeffries is going to be at Caroline's. <laughs> Speaking of earthquakes, maybe let's take some breaks. <laughs> oh, because the earth breaks open. Yeah, 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 Chip. San Andreas fault. Let's blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that was quite funny. I know, it was a little too funny for Chip. Of course it was. Jim Jeffries, Caroline, starting tonight. It was an accident, though. You didn't mean yeah. to. Yeah, put me on that. Oh, no. well, well, put me on your show, Caroline. 212. <laughs> what happens. 757 4100. <laughs> We're going to continue in just a bit. <laughs> We're hanging with Jim Jeffries. It's been like six months. Good friend of the show. And if, you, if you've never seen Jeffries, go to Caroline's one of these nights, starting tonight, 212-757-4100. The shows will sell out. Uh, how's the world been, Jim? You've been everywhere? I, I've just, it's just been the UK, mostly, and then just, you know, around America, but mm -hmm. the UK's enough. I'm going, back to, I'm going back to Glasgow next week, just for one show. So if anyone's listening in Glasgow, Scotland... Someone wants Come to ask along. you about um, Amsterdam. Actually, they're calling from Amsterdam. Jeremy in Amsterdam, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? Hanging with Jim Jeffries. Hey, Jim, uh, I saw you in Amsterdam, man. You were, you fucking killed. Thank you. Um, but uh, I was. My question is, uh, how did you think the gig went, man? Like, and what's the difference between playing here and in other places? I, I'll tell you that the cool thing about the Dutch, because uh, obviously English isn't your first language, but you all watch English TV and all that, so you can be doing a gig. And if, I, if I'm doing a gig out here or in Australia or in Britain or whatever, and I fuck a joke up, the audience goes, oh, that joke was shit, and then I have to win the audience back. Where in Holland, you fuck a joke up, they're like, oh, must have been our fault. We will uh, <laughs> we will reset now and laugh at the next joke. Give it to us. <laughs> what if you, you, know, what if you acknowledge that the joke didn't go well? Oh, no, you don't. They don't know. They don't know any difference. No, no, but I mean in England. Oh, no, England, they'll, they'll eat you alive. Well, not eat you alive, but it, the English crowds are a lot more uh, vocal than the American crowds. Oh, really? Yeah. But the American crowds do that whoop and cheer and holler. And I'll tell you one thing about the English crowds. They don't like credits. They don't like that whole, he's been on the Tonight Show, he's been on the this, they've been on that. That really pisses them off. They get really like, all right, what are you going to do now, fuckface? You know what I mean? Where in America, you've you got to give them a few credits so that they're reassured that you're okay, that you're justified to be there. I've always turned down going to England. I've never gone. you got to go to No, I don't know if I want to go. I don't, just really. experience it you can, and you, see what it's all about. You can get a little run in, 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 in a theater in, uh, in, in uh, London, like Leicester Square Theater what I miss? or something. And, and a lot. You'll, you'll, make, lot. you'll make yourself two, three thousand Jim pounds Jeffers a night and do it for a week. You'll, you'll, just came you'll out of the closet. Laughing. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. Yeah. How am I going to stop tickets in England? Big one. Yeah. He's, he's he's not even telling us. Oh, I don't think so. Lou, 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 Louis C.K. is selling <laughs> heaps of tickets in there. <laughs> Louis different though, man. Louis is uh, Louis on a different level. Plus, he's got your face behind him. It's a little different. Yeah, I'm telling. Uh, Louis Black sells out here all the time. Louis Black's been on television for a long time on the Daily no, Show. No, no. But you, I'm saying... You no, could do a little run, just yeah. off reputation to give you press. You could do a little one week in I, London. I'm not saying the rest of the country. Jimmy, we're talking week. about how we haven't traveled in a while. Let's set something up and go there. Just to experience it. You know how awful it would be? They do fucking, eh, hey, boo! Who cares? We don't like you! But, no, no, no. They, they, they give a lot of respect cares? to the big American acts. Yeah. We yeah. don't like you! 
<laughs> I know how it go. Come on, guys, Starbucks. We don't care for that. Just call them hooligans. <laughs> you they, fucking they, hooligans. hooligans. I'll fuck up all my like English references. I don't really know any. Yeah, what do you guys the is the, like the, a soccer ball over here? I, I hate all this. That's the only thing. You don't call it soccer. They call it football. football. That's the only thing they will get upset about. But all, all, all the they all spell the, it wrong though. Everyone always does these things about like, uh, oh, do you have to change preferences? Like, if I say I, I had a fag the other day on stage, people get it's a cigarette. They yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they don't go, oh, did that guy suck a cock? They just go, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, he had a cigarette. <laughs> We've all seen enough movies to know what shag means and all that type yeah. of bollocks. But mm -hmm. at this point, why don't you change the meaning of, of fag over there? What? Make it the right yeah, word. Yeah, why don't you just... No, 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 but they, they mean both things. We still call gay people fags. It's got yeah. to do with your inflection of your voice. Oh. oh you can say okay. that fag was having a fag. And I understand completely what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a fag to the fag over there. Oh, you, know you know can I mean? do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. All right. And it's, it's just uh, inflection. Now, yeah. can, I, right. wanna, I want an English, uh, American English example of, of something like that, where it's the same word, different meaning. Fanny pack. <laughs> Fanny. I always find, I always fall down with saying I get um, I got really pissed last night and everyone's like what was wrong what did you do like that because oh, I mean yeah, that's yeah. drunk, drunk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's the one that I always fall out because people oh. think oh he must be angry. But now Fanny in pack. England does piss Fanny. mean also do, can it also mean you're mad? Uh, you can't yeah you can say oh, I was really pissed at him. Like, if you have something at the end of the sentence like that, yeah, I was yeah, really yeah. pissed at so, my wife. Yeah. You would never say I'm drunk but at my wife. But the only reason I, I was pissed at him was I was pissed. Yeah, yeah, that would make oh, more okay. sense. Yeah. Okay. But the fanny pack thing, I came over to America when I was 14 on a little holiday when I was a kid, and I remember going on a roller coaster, and they did that whole thing of... Oh, uh, who touched you? They, no, they, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, did that, they did that whole thing of old fanny packs and stuff, and fanny, obviously, in Australia and Britain means vagina. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what? Right. Because that's pussy. What, yeah, that means pussy. Fanny means pussy. Well, yeah. I've never Here heard it means that little hiney. It's Every, a cute word for hiney. Yeah, yeah ev everywhere else in the world, that gets fanny, confusing. Fanny <laughs> means pussy. So when they go put your fanny packs up to the side, as a fourteen-year-old Australian boy, I I laugh for days. <laughs> <laughs> for days. Yeah. It's like just saying, just saying, cunt pack, vagina yeah, pack. Yeah. Wouldn't you think that's the funniest thing, even as an adult? Yeah. How about Fanny Mae, the club, the fucking company here? Oh yeah, there you go. I mean, you say but bum. You don't say, you don't say bum over here, do you? You say bum no. for a homeless person, but you wouldn't say uh, that. Yeah, bum is a bum. producer. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> it just doesn't stop all fucking day now. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. Did we lose the guy from Holland? I forgot. We were uh, talking no, to someone. I'm still here, guys. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What's he doing? Well, you didn't even right, know you did, did you? I was taking a piss. <laughs> yeah, they oh. had a leak. We're talking well, yesterday. You were angry at your... Then I, uh... Yeah, hey, yeah, I was hey Jeremy, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Hey, uh, I don't know. I think we want to go back down this road. Uh, cool. Jim Jeffries brought a bit to the show. I, I saw him in a comedy club, and he goes, you got to get this audio of this Australian radio show. And we did the bit, and it was amazing. I, I, I listened to it on YouTube, and there's nothing better than uh, than we, Patrice O'Neill talking about Australian rape. I tell you, I, I howled oh, laughing. The, oh yeah, okay. Patrice I was talking about it's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. It well, it was. That was a long yeah, time no ago. Yeah, no problem. But I want to do it again. I, I I don't think it's been played in a while on this channel, and we're getting new listeners every day. Basically, an Australian radio show. Kyle and Jackie O. Have the greatest radio stunt backfire ever. <laughs> yeah. Ever. Ever. Yeah. So in case people haven't heard it yet, why don't we get right into it? Listen to this. The yeah. air in here is thick, Jackie. I know. We're all a bit nervous, actually, because Mum has brought her daughter in to go on the lie detector. If you, We just had a chat to... Uh, actually about her concerns with her 14 year old daughter and why she wanted to bring her in if you missed it here's a little quick recap before we do the lies detector um last thursday night she went to bed at nine o'clock mm. i gave her a kiss good night and 2 30 in the morning i got a knock on the door from two undercover police bringing her home right. what's your worst fear is it the sex is it the lying is it is it possibly doing drugs smoking what do you think um drugs and sex That's and older worker. boys yeah. Do you think she's, has she told you she's had sex before? Do you think she's a virgin? I think she might have had sex before. Right, but she hasn't said anything. No. Have no. you asked about the drugs and things like that? Yes, I know for a fact that she's been smoking marijuana. 
Okay. Right, so she's admitted that. Has so you she? want to know if yes. she's doing anything harder than marijuana? Yes. Then. Okay. Yes. All right. We have her hooked up to the lie detector. Oh. She's not happy. I just oh. saw her listening to that replay. I can't listen so, to this fucking oh. accent. Really. So that's. Uh, <laughs> I'd say. I'd say what when you've been out of a country for a long time, and I can just get. Yes, I'm worried about marijuana. Marijuana. Like and everyone's going up at the end. Yes. Wait, wait, and wait. they're all speaking like this. Wait, they're talking different than you are? Well, I don't go up at the end anymore. I don't. But I've, tra but we don't I've, traveled, yes. I've traveled enough of the world. Okay, I'll start speaking like that from now on. Oh, and yeah. then we'll notice. If, you, if you'd like me to do it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Chappelle Corby. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just this constant talking, just like you're really upset about everything. You stuck it in a vagina. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. <laughs> in a vagina? Vagina? Well, that's the setup. 14 year old girl doing some drugs, maybe having sex with older boys. No. So they bring her into the radio station, then hook her up to a lie detector. How to see this what's go real wrong. and what's not? What's <laughs> like, like, where was the error in the thought here? Hook yeah. a 14 year old girl up to a lie detector. How, How did this go, go wrong? Look, we've done a lot of radio shows. Right now, I, I think we would still be in. We'd, we'd go for a bit like this, no problem. Mm, yeah, <laughs> right we, in? We, right until we get fired. And then, uh, well. The lie detector test starts. Um, Mum, you have a series of questions that you're going to ask your daughter, and uh, you reply either yes or no, and then it no. I, I, you reply I so. either yes or no. Yeah, no. I, we do sort of say the word no, like no, there's no. Two, two e's at the end of it. Yeah, no. 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 no, I no. That's what we were laughing about so hard. Is yeah. the I no, I no, I no, I no. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I saw Danny's reaction, yeah? and it's probably the same reaction a bunch of listeners are having. Uh, they're bl they're beeping out the names, but that's how they did it. It's just it's just uh, oh, just silence. Was... Yeah, it, it's it oh, seems okay. like the bits like kind of dropping out. It's not. They're just yeah, getting rid of the an, names because an error in the file. Because <laughs> obviously this gets ugly, and they they're trying to protect some people here. Good daughter, and yeah. You reply either yes or no, and then it will be picked Aye. up on the lie detector whether you are telling the truth or lying. Okay, Mum, what do you want to start with? Okay, about school. Just recently started a new school, and I want to know, oh. have you wagged at your new school? Wag. I have not wagged at my new school. So the answer would be no? No. 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 I haven't. No. And that's a fail. Oh, I she's haven't lying. Wagged. Are you kidding me? I'm just calling I'm a bloody wag. <laughs> Poor Charles is going to cough it this morning. You're not within arm's reach there, are you, Charles? No. <laughs> yeah, you know he is. He is. So what does wagged mean? Wag sex. means bunked off school. Yeah, no, it, it, it means class. you cut class. Oh, I'm thinking sex. No. 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 That's if, not when, sex. When, you, when you're wagging... So you can go up, you can leave school to have a wank, and that would be you'd be wagging for a wank. That, <laughs> although that sentence has probably never been said. I don't know where the word wagging comes from. Wagging. So what do you, you just call it cutting class. Yeah, we go, oh yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're boring with our fucking language. The only thing I can think of is wagging is back and forth, and it's like you're shaking off school. Yeah, I don't think Nine? it's that. Yeah, but, that, but, that but that back and forth motion could be a sex thing. Come yeah? On. No, Come it's on. just, it's any. Come on. Well, how about if you if you're in a wagon outside of school, you're in like a a red wagon getting pulled around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here's the uh, here's the big bit payoff coming. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> now, well, so the lie detector is saying you have. I have what is, is there something? How can, what, what's happening here, Charles? Or well, maybe she skipped a class or something like that. Have you done that? Have you skipped? No, class? I yeah. haven't. Have you left there early? No, I haven't. Could it come up? Could it come up a way. fail? Like, have you have you had a sick day or something where you bunged on a bit of a sickie and you thought, oh, oh yeah, there's sick. plenty of them. All oh, right, well, is yeah, that could that be it? Well, that's yeah. it. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's your next question, Mum? Okay, have you had sex? I've already told you the story of this. And don't look at me and smile because it's not funny. Oh, no. oh okay. Um, I got raped when I was twelve years old. <laughs> Now I just want to um when, 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 when it says when it says in Australia yeah. when you say you got raped that means you cut class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The words mean different yeah, things. Yeah. It might sound a lot more offensive to your American right. ears. <laughs> There's a lot of twisted shit in here because Okay, I got right. Well, before that though she asked a question and she goes, "I already told you the story." And then goes, "Stop laughing." So the mom is now laughing <laughs> yeah. at this horrific story that she the goes, mom already knows about. I, I like the fact that the girl she wasn't that upset. She just did that all right, 
Blow fuck it out. you. Yeah, here yeah, you go. Yeah. Fuck Mom. you. You want, you want this? There you go. Here it is. And they were competing for pink tickets. Did you know that? Oh, really? <laughs> That's what they were competing for. Uh, she told the truth the whole time. They got two tickets to their pink. their lives to pink. <laughs> Great. Well, hers isn't pink anymore. Oh. oh. Pink, oh. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. pink socked. Yeah. It's not because it's not funny. Oh, okay. Um, I got raped when I was 12 years old. It's been two years. Get over it. Right. <laughs> and is that the uh, is that the only experience you've had? I only. F All right. Look. Uh, and now, what happened to the grocery? <laughs> right. I want to go back to the long pause, which is terrific. I, and no, then, I, and then the radio host just trying anything to save jobs. Oh yeah, yeah. Then now they go into holy shit. Let's try to save our jobs. Batten mode. down the hatches. <laughs> right. <laughs> and is that the uh, is that the only experience that, you've had? I only found out about that. Um, a couple of months ago, yes, I knew about and that. And yet you still ask me the question. I was, I the question we... was, have you had sex other than that? I'm really sorry, we didn't actually know that that no, was that the case, the and I think we might actually bought this, this segment. I, I had no idea that you've been through that, so I'm really sorry. And we'll just let you off the hook, I think. I think it's best not to continue. You think it's best? Yeah. You're, you're still not yeah. sure, right? I like I like how she's going to abort it and let her off the hook. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. How many more stillborn nuances yeah. does she want to put through this thing? Yes, yeah. yeah. let's just vacuum out of this. <laughs> yeah. I really yeah. think we really should pipe this bit over the head with a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh. It's just that we're, we're going we're gonna to let you off. Yeah, but I love yeah, the I mom really, being yeah. defensive too. Yeah. I mean, have sex besides yeah. the yeah. the, the oh, dumb I, rape thing. I knew, oh. I knew about that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. I didn't, I didn't know what you were going to. Oh, well, of course, I meant besides that. It would have been rude for me to go. Besides the time you got raped, <laughs> She's so has there been dramatic. any other times? Of course you were raped. I remember. <laughs> it's old hat by now. Yeah. I held you down. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, yes, God. it was for Wiggles tickets. <laughs> oh, my oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, God wow. <laughs> and the good news, guys. Uh, Kyle and Jackie O make it all good, right? Yeah, here. of course they do. That's the job of the radio host. Just make everything good. I'm really sorry. I had no idea that that this had happened to you. I don't think we would have gone ahead with that if had we known. Okay, honey, we'll just let you go for a while. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't realize that was. Okay, mum. Sorry. Look, we needed to. We yeah. That's something we should have probably known before we started this. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. Um, so like, let's do that. Let's get you. If you guys haven't had any any counselling or any anyone to talk to about that, we're happy to to uh, ah, pick up the bill yeah. for that. We've got them ah. here. Do you want that, Mum? What do you mean yeah, they've got them here? Good. What at the radio station? Yeah, the radio like, station. Like, you have a rape counselor yeah, available. Like, like, yeah. How many fuck ups do you have to have before you have a counselor next door? <laughs> no, it's every Why time every, every time management leaves the room, you have to call them. <laughs> <laughs> it might be their bit they do, Rape Tuesday. You know, <laughs> yeah. Got a little out of hand. And, and then I like how she goes, "If we knew about that, I don't think we would have done the bit." You don't think? Yeah, I don't you think. don't think. You're not going to say we wouldn't have done the bit. Yeah, we would have yeah. considered it, but you know, how bad were you raped? Yeah, did you come? Yeah, it was Oh yeah. Did you have a guilty orgasm? Yeah. Why was it slippery? Was it his saliva or your body betraying you? Oh my god. <laughs> new, new Twitter name or message board name? Guilty fucking orga uh, guilty orgasm. Oh my god. Wow. I <laughs> know. Oh, Bill for that. We've got him here. Do you want that, Mum? Yes, that'd be good. Yeah, That'll be good. Okay. well, you know, and that might, um, you know, that might going through that might answer some of the questions that you know you guys are having difficulty communi communicating with. Did we get the okay. pink tickets? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for coming, in, Dale. Sorry about that. Thanks, honey. Okay, we're out, everyone. Um, Jackie's got some own news coming up. What's that? Is? Jackie, what? Cool. The show? Kyle and Jackie O. She's it's got some news the, coming up. The, yeah, in the news, two DJs <laughs> fired. <laughs> they're, they're the biggest two radio DJs in Australia at the time. And yeah. he, I think he lost his job. He was one of the judges on Australian Idol. Oh, really? Yeah, so he was fairly high up. He was meant to be like the Simon Cowell character on Australian Ooh. Idol. They didn't lose a job for this. They got suspended off this. I Why? Think it, they uh, handled it well. They didn't do it. The fucking mom should have told them. The, the, the Australian Prime Minister got in. It was a big story. Yeah, so, they shouldn't have. But the know, radio show host, it seems like they did not know. 
Yeah, yeah I don't not, no. We were nice about it. I still think just hooking a 14-year-old girl to a lie detector, it's fraught with danger. <laughs> <laughs> fraught what? with danger. <laughs> you know. It really is. That's very <laughs> You're going to have a problem there. And they did. You explained that perfectly. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> but uh, Jim Jeffries brought that bit to the show, God, about six months ago, yeah, and now we get to play it for one. you because we didn't do the bit with you originally. Um, uh, during the break, uh, Jim, you said that Elvis could possibly be alive. What's this I, about? I, I believe that Elvis is alive, yeah. and, he can, and I believe that he has a sister, and there's DNA to prove this. Um, and I, this is going to take 10 minutes to tell this story. I don't think we've got time for this. But there's we also... got an hour and a half left. Oh, Let's okay, go. All right, all right. Okay, basic, if, basically, if you can make it interesting, who cares? No, there's a whole, whole big news story. that, that There's a lot of people that believe Elvis is still alive. And I watched a documentary thinking he might be alive. But then there was this, uh, there was this uh, woman who uh, she, she didn't know who her parents were, right? And she was adopted out. She found out who her mum was. And she found out that her mum lived over the road from Graceland and was like, all oh, right, okay, well, who's my dad? And she the, she went off to see some guy that was meant to be the dad. Turned out the DNA wasn't correct. Then she goes off to the public library, starts looking through photos and shit, right, and sees all these pictures of her mum at about 16 at, El at Elvis's house in newspapers and stuff oh, like that, right? Oh. And so she goes, fucking hell. And she looks herself in the mirror. She kind of looks like, and she goes, Elvis is my dad, right? So she goes over and gets some DNA checks done with uh, fucking uh, Elvis's cousins, and she matches up to one side of the family, and they're going, no, nah, Elvis isn't your dad, Elvis is your half-sister. So old Vern, Vern Presley, after the mum had died, or even when the mum was alive, you saw Elvis's mum, she wasn't an attractive woman, wow. and uh, when when the 16-year-old girls would come over, and, you know, Elvis could only fuck one of them, <laughs> right? Then old Vern would come in and go, uh-huh, right? And he, wow. he'd, he'd slip it into one of them, right? So Vern was her father, she was Elvis's half-sister, right? <laughs> The fuck? This is it's on the news. It's on YouTube, right? All right, it's all right. And Fox oh, covered it, right? So, so this is like so she sees like, okay, I'm Elvis's half sister, right? Then in 2000, and this court case, to put the put it in um, context, this court case is the only court case ever because every year they get about 10, 15 people go, oh, Elvis, I'm an Elvis's love child or whatever. Yeah. Um, because her DNA matches, this is the first time they've ever opened up the estate of Vern Presley or Elvis Presley to a court case, and the court case is going on at the moment. Now, in 2002, there was a, there was a, 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 a psychiatrist in Kansas who said that he was treating Elvis Presley Right, and he changed his name to Jesse Presley. Jesse was the name of Elvis's twin brother who died at birth. Right, now this guy had gifts that Elvis had given him, and there's even a photo online of, of this guy Jesse Presley. It's weird looking. Now the whole thing was this guy passed a lie detector to tell that he was telling the truth, and he wrote a book saying that he he he'd been treating Elvis. Right, at least now, he this, respected the uh, the the patient. Yeah, no uh, doctor no, no, confidentiality. No, 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 the, the guy, but Elvis Elvis allegedly helped him along with this book. Now this all seemed very far fetched. And everyone went, all right, well, this guy's a kook, but he passed the lie detector, so it was a news story, right? It was just a little, like, public relations type of thing at the end of the news, right? Anyway, so when this lady came in and said, oh, I've got the DNA of Vern Presley, they went, hey, I tell you what, we've still got that envelope leaked by that guy who said he was Elvis in Kansas, and they text, um, they tested it, and that's his, that's her, that's her brother. Really? Yeah, and the DNA doesn't lie, that's her brother. Right, so, and so she's definitely Vern Presley's daughter, and that's her brother. Whether it be from another marriage or something, that's her half brother. So the coincidence is too big. And also, Elvis is an extra on Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you, if you, you, you YouTube this, Elvis yeah. Presley, Home Alone, the normal Home Alone, mm -hmm. Elvis Presley is an extra when the mum's at the airport just before she meets John Candy. Elvis has got a beard, and he's standing in the back at Home Alone. <laughs> Yeah. All right, get, come, on. Yeah, come on. Yeah, Danny can find anything. Where the fuck is that? He actually auditioned. <laughs> yeah, he's just, I want to be back in movies. I don't want to talk a bit. All right, where is, where's the screen? There's there the screen go. in front of you. All We're right. looking uh, to. I got to see this. Uh, <laughs> Elvis, on. an extra in Home Alone. <laughs> in, in 1977 versus extra in Home Alone 1990. Well, All right. Why is it taking so long to load up? I thought you guys had a bit of technology. In this Home no, Alone came out in 1990. It's the fucking... 20 year anniversary this year for that fucking 20 movie. 20 year anniversary? Holy shit. Well, that's about right, yeah, because we're probably uh, yeah, probably about 26, amazing. isn't he? No, he's older than that. It's not yeah. loading up for some reason. Oh, come oh, on. There, there's a few clips of it, though. What there we the go. fuck? There we go. Elvis Presley's still alive. That one will do. How do you know that but, one will do? Well, they all die. Watch these it things. might be an epic fail. All right, here we go. Right. The, the other one's better where you can see the two faces side to side. Look at the guy in the back. Which guy? The guy with the beard right there. 
What about another airline? That guy? Not that guy. No, no. Which guy? Check out the guy The guy in the background. What with guy? The, with the beard. The guy with the beard. You see it, Ed? I don't see yeah, it. Right there. That's Elvis? That's Elvis. What the, what's Wait, wrong with you? How did anyone determine that was Elvis? I, I, get, get, the, uh, get the other clip. Some guy looks like... Who looks that like Elvis? Right that doesn't look like Elvis. It's Elvis. Who the doesn't? fuck started this? That, that, that doesn't, doesn't look Elvis. like Elvis. It's Elvis with a beard. That looks nothing like Elvis. <laughs> that, You're making us mad. <laughs> that Jesus. looks more like Michael uh, Douglas with okay, a beard. I, I don't believe that's Elvis, but the rest of the story I said was true. I've been from Chicago to Paris to Dallas. <laughs> this is hysterical because he looks nothing He's like Elvis. He's too good of an actor to be Elvis. <laughs> Get the one where they match the two faces together. That first clip we tried. Oh, well, we're trying to get a ticket for an aeroplane. And if he started doing that, I might believe it. Get that one working. <laughs> I was singing, Jimmy. <laughs> if, you, if you get that one working, <laughs> I promise you, you'll be convinced. Yeah, but there's a 13-year difference. Here we go. Here we go. They they do a close-up on both their faces. Uh -huh. Here we go, man. We got another one. It's going to be some kind of like split-screen no, thing. Uh, just got to wait for the YouTube advertisement to... Uh, uh, all right. Yeah, oh, does, that that, does that stop, does it? All right. No, it's, it's not It's not loading up. Oh, yeah, Why? Because it's, it's a bunch of shit. Why? <laughs> Elvis is a rotting corpse in a fucking of white suit with right. maggots on him. Okay, if you get that news story I said about... The, uh, it's not not good radio to listen to it, but try... Yeah, see, there's a lot of people that believe Elvis is the... That get, is get the, the dumbest the thing. It really is one get of the, the dumbest. This is so <laughs> stupid. That's what they like him. That's, Jimmy, that's Elvis Jim Norton, oh. help us out. What do you think, Jim? What do you think? Is he listed in IMDb as somebody? Jimmy's actually taking Extra it seriously. In, in behind the fucking... Do, do the one where someone's put the Give bottom of their mouth picture. Yeah, he's, he's listed as pelvis uh, as Esley. Oh, look, what they removed, they <laughs> photoshopped and removed the beard, and it's Elvis. Why so put it... that bottom lip on anybody. Put it on me. Fucking photoshop me with Elvis, or at least my stomach. <laughs> All right, do you, want to, do you want to see the picture of the guy who uh, got the DNA the same as the sister? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put Jesse Presley. Yeah, what nonsense. <laughs> yeah. You are fucking hysterical. No, not Preston. Jesse Preston. That's porn. No, no, no. <laughs> we, we're just used to. We're just used to putting that Preston. Guy there, that guy there. That guy there. Now, if you look at this bloke here, right? Yeah. This is the guy that they reckon still Elvis, right? That kid is Lisa Looks Marie's like kid. Joe Namath. With white hair. It does look like Joe Namath. <laughs> but he's had plastic surgery and stuff. But the kid on the knee is uh, Lisa Marie's kid, and that's the fucking same kid, man. That's Elvis, I'm telling you. <laughs> Not Elvis. Oh my God. It's Johnny Winter. <laughs> that is the like same guy that just white hair. You can't lie, but it's like DNA. fucking Ric Flair. Yes. Woo! It, it's, it, yes, Ric Flair. That's Elvis, man. And Joe Namath, like if, you if said. You're yeah. listening, well, if Namath. you're listening, Jesse Presley, ring in, man. How old would in. he be? He turned 70 last year, didn't he, Elvis? Yeah, no, he didn't. So Jesse's <laughs> Jesse Presley's Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Why would he Living change it to I'm something you, else? If he, yeah, if, he wanted, yeah. if he wants to hide, why would he go Pete with Jesse Presley? Presley? Oh, I don't Presley. know. I don't know if he's keeping the surname Presley, but that's that's who everyone. Yeah, but he's in high. Yeah, but there's DNA. There's DNA proof that this guy's related to this woman, and fucking this woman's related to Elvis's dad. Why did he go? So into it, might, it might be a more tenuous link. It might just be coincidence. But well, somebody else he banged. That's the new story there about Elvis still being alive with the thing. Okay. It's a bunch of dreck. Elvis is alive. It latest. One of the most oh. talked about stories in Cleveland history. Six years ago. A Seven minutes. Oh. <laughs> you, you can't watch it. And that he was treating him. Fox 8, Suzanne Stratford. The news us picked up on this. It's like deja vu all over again. <laughs> ah, is it? <laughs> Shut it. Be Elvis Presley said he wanted to come out and prove to the yeah. world he was still alive, but he never did. Well, now new DNA evidence has led to a landmark court case in Tennessee, and this man's DNA is in the mix of it all. What's this all about? <laughs> well, here's how it all went down. In real time. Elvis Presley rattled the world with his rock and roll. We know who he was. Oh, my God. You, you, you do not have to you, do you that. Can't, you can't listen to this bit. You can watch it off air and then talk about yeah, it tomorrow yeah, if you yeah. want. But No, we, yeah. we'll talk over the boring stuff. Is Elvis Presley. This is the doctor who treated him. Absolutely. I would never treat anyone without seeing them. I was dead. And it is truly Elvis Aaron Presley. That was 2002, when we first met Dr. Donald Hinton in Missouri. The board-certified psychiatrist claimed that Elvis was still alive and his patient. 
Welcome to my world. Dr. Hinton passed a lie detector test and showed us presents from his patient, like cufflinks. He said Anne Margaret gave Elvis after filming Viva Las Vegas. Well, then I'd like you to check my motor. You would have given Anne Margaret one, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You'd have Hinton to fucking published him. this book Pulver. at his patient's request. Letters allegedly written by Elvis, now using the name of Elvis's deceased twin brother, Jesse Garen Presley. <laughs> Why would Jesse he do claims that? he faked his death with the help of his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Ah, the Colonel Kurt. told Elvis. He was in debt when he died, remember? That the Colonel would make more money off of this than Elvis made in his entire lifetime. Elvis Presley Enterprises continues to grow, earning $49 million in 2007 alone. But he can't spend it because he'd have to come out of hiding. I can't walk out. But Elvis did it because he said, I just had to get away. Perhaps to escape an unhealthy lifestyle and threats against his family. So a lot of his motivation was for his own physical safety. So why come back? What a He's rat. So focused on his own we're only two minutes into this you sure you want to i know <laughs> all right uh, before the truly passes oh, oh, this guy's voice is really uh comforting and soothing i <laughs> went to graceland to find out the truth about elvis if you watch, if you watch all that clip when it starts getting onto the woman the girl the dna and also there's a picture of jesse jackson muhammad ali and elvis presley taken in 1981 no, there's not. <laughs> Google that. Google that picture. <laughs> You're Jim, a fucking pisser, Jim. Perhaps. <laughs> Jim Gullible Jeffries will be at uh, Caroline starting tonight. 212-757-4100. Elvis, Elvis Jesse Jackson. Elvis and Muhammad Ali. Jesse Jackson. Yeah. Okay, no, it's not the picture. El come on. El Jesse Jackson, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> you got to put fucking all of them in. Danny, you can punch them in. There we go. You There's want. a picture there. Yeah, yeah, yeah watch this. Okay, who's the guy in the background? Elvis was friends with Muhammad Ali. Who's that why guy? Why would they line up for the picture? Why no, is it El Why is it so... Muhammad Ali was leaving the hospital at that stage. Because he... You know, and why? Elvis he, he decided just, he just to just show up at a press <laughs> conference <laughs> Look, and nobody noticed phones in front of his face. <laughs> the only white face is Elvis. <laughs> and and it, no it, one noticed. It slipped through the cracks. <laughs> no <laughs> one went, holy shit, Elvis is... Fuck Ali. Elvis yeah. is alive. He's standing right there. And why does Elvis in 81 look like Elvis in 56? Because, yeah. because he got out of the business and he started taking care of himself. <laughs> so he figured he would just hang out with Jesse Jackson and Muhammad Ali to keep it yeah, on the DL. Keep it lo look, at, look at all hey, the see, microphones in front of Ali. I don't, I don't really. believe in that one either, but it does fucking look like Elvis. Way to know how to keep hiding, Elvis. <laughs> he shows yeah. up at a press conference. Yeah, at a giant Muhammad press Ali. conference. Right. He was looting in New Orleans. He was taking some beers. <laughs> he was, no, uh, it was just before they filmed uh, Home Alone. He wanted to uh, get him back oh, yeah, in the show. Yeah, yeah, he had to grow his beard angle, then. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, so there's a picture of him up. in the pool house after he died as well. The pool house picture where there's people <laughs> looking at the... Looking at the fucking gravestone. You are fucking hysterical. There we go. Here we go. This picture here. But why would he... Look at, look at, who's that fat bastard in the, in the door there? <laughs> There's someone in the look, doorway. But in the pool house, looking out on the people looking at his gravestone. He'd only been dead for two months when this photo was taken. Then why is he sitting on the bottom of the door? It's a fucking midget. What is he doing? Is he sitting no, on the he's floor? Si he's sitting in a chair. He's sitting in a chair there. Why would he sit in a chair where he could t get a picture taken? Where he could be no, discovered. No, he's behind a screen door. He doesn't think he'd get discovered. Wouldn't you? If, if everyone was looking at your tombstone, wouldn't you think, oh, I'm going to have a look at that? Oh. I'd do it But there's a way like to look a... it without, yeah. Yeah, one of Being those mirrors. He had sunglasses yeah, on. He was in disguise. <laughs> he was fucking Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. More, more than ten percent. <laughs> more than ten percent retarded. I'm telling, yes. I'm telling you, you watch the rest of that clip and tell me Elvis isn't alive, man. Elvis is fucking alive. <laughs> oh, There's the a color, color picture of it. The there color picture of it. That makes a little difference. Can you blow that up? I want to see the color. He's, yeah, that is. Ah, that's him. Yeah, he's he's this alive. Way. He's in the pool house, man. That's weird. It is, is it? so weird. Why is he in the pool house? Oh, cool. That's not photoshopped. No, that, no, 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 that no, 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 no. It's one thing because this is back with film. Kodak has actually sent a letter saying there's no photoshopping going on with that at all. That is a genuine picture. Cool. There, there, there is a thing that says. Yeah, but that. a lot of guys look like Elvis. This was done back in the 70s before Elvis. photoshopped. Yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, that's, uh, so it's a guy that looks like Elvis? Yeah, I, I agree. There's a lot of guys that look it's like Elvis one of his who friends hung out with, with people. No, that's true, though. Yeah, no, all the Memphis Mafia, they were all wearing that get-up, weren't they? They all had the same kind of... I one bet of that's a reflection. Of what? I bet that picture's a reflection off the window because yeah, I was thinking that there's too. a gate behind exactly. it. No, 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 exactly. no, no, no. And it's some no, Elvis impersonator there's, guy. There's a picture before it of just oh, the chair by itself. Yeah. No, it's got it.
Yeah, that was the first thing I thought of when I looked at that. It, it looks it looks like it's a, like an yeah, angled shot. There's probably a little chair out there where people could sit and reflect. Except and literally it's... reflect. Well, no, 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 no. window. There, there, there's pictures before this photo of this same door with the chair empty. It's yeah, but, guys, but it's still I think the chair's outside. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's I think probably the his guys having a good time. Too. We got more Elvis stuff coming in. Peter, oh, Massachusetts. Oh, Peter. Cool. Yeah, there's more <laughs> There's more uh, uncorroborated proof of Elvis being alive. He He's saying, Eddie Rabbit's I Love the Rainy Night after he died because... I Love the Rainy Night wasn't released until 1982, and it's on the Internet. Google it. Google it. I swear to God. Why <laughs> Google, would he, Google, Google it. Google it. Google it. Google it. <laughs> Out of all the songs he could sing after his death, he goes with Eddie Why Rabbit. Sing it, I love the rainy night. It's true. It's true. I swear to God. Google it. Google it. We can't find it, right? Now, are you, are you like me, you believe it that he's still alive? I think you're a fucking dumbass to believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I also believe that Freddie Mercury didn't get AIDS. No? No, it was just a diet. <laughs> Alright, we got... Uh, yeah, we got uh, Chris in Miami. Come on, boys. I hate to get all jimpy on Jim Jeffries, but... Uh... I was friends with uh, the corner photographer who took a picture of Elvis dead on the bowl. Dead on the bowl. Dead on the bowl. Where's that picture? Dead on the bowl. And it with police. He was working with the corner's office. Well, so. they, okay, they, no, here's that's another one. Stage. He did not die on the toilet, and that's from Joe Escapo or whatever. He died in the bathroom on the floor. That that right. whole idea that he died on the toilet is a load of shit. Maybe There's he had a heart people. attack and fell on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Why would there be a photo of him on the toilet? Yeah. Is well, there a photo of him? That's what this guy's saying. No, I think uh, they assumed he was on the toilet because his fucking pants were down in no, it. No, around his ankles. Yeah, no, but this guy just said he had a toilet of him on yeah, the on the a picture, toilet, picture, on the toilet. A picture of him on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, and okay. everyone wants I to do that yeah, joke yeah. because the king died on the throne. That's all the whole right. the whole thing that everyone always said. But he didn't. He died on the floor. He is alive. Uh, Anthony, good news. We got Ian Halpern to help us out. What? He knows uh, a little bit about gossip and rumors. Good morning, boys. How are we? Good. What's up, Ian? Hey, uh, it's true. Uh, Jim Jeffries is right. Elvis is still alive, and it turns out uh, Angelina Jolie's actually been fucking him on the side. She's leaving Brad Pitt for him. <laughs> really? It's a true story. Been writing a book about it. I'm, I'm going We got the Easter Bunny checking in. Uh, Easter Bunny. Yes, Jim, make sure you're home next month. I'm going to be popping by. <laughs> really? well, the Easter Bunny didn't really commit to that character, yeah, did he? No. The, the Easter Bunny scene sounds a bit pedo to But me. how do you play an Easter Bunny on the phone? You, you make hopping sounds. <laughs> yeah, and do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Noise after that. Hey, I'll be around like you're jumping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Fucking no bunny oh, sound oh, like oh, motherfucker. I'll oh, start, oh, start with I hope you like chocolate or something. Yeah. Put a bit of nuance into it. Yeah. Hey, Jim, hold on. Let me wiggle my tail. Say something rabbitish. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> nice impression, Dick. Yeah. He's something. You all feel sorry when it comes out that he's still alive. Oh, I, I love like, him to be I like alive. How long I is like he the half-sister thing. I like the half-sister thing. I'll give you Listen to the rest of the half-sister thing afterwards. How long is he going to wait before he fucking makes this miraculous reappearance? <laughs> no, he doesn't want to come back out. He's Ever. done. Because, man, like, Where he does he, he want to be out of the spotlight. I don't know he's staying. I think he'd want to be in the spotlight by now. No. Like, can you imagine, 20, what, can you imagine the later? hysteria now? The hysteria would be bigger than when he was at his peak then. Really? Of course it would. That would be mm. the biggest news story of our lifetime if Elvis really With the Jonas Brothers out there, really? Yeah. Elvis well, is going to compete with that shit? Yeah. He's, he's not going to do concerts anymore. What is he going to do? He's just Letterman and, and Leno. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he's probably got a stand-up routine ready to go. He's like Sarah Palin. <laughs> Elvis? <laughs> I fucking love Jeffries. <laughs> I, I actually, I said, on, I said on Twitter today, I didn't, I don't think Sarah Palin was the worst stand-up comedian I've ever seen. I've worked with a lot of shit comics. I thought she didn't do a bad job. But the point yeah. is, she was just reading jokes that someone wrote for her. Yeah, I know. At what, least, at least the stand-up comic is ma writing her shit. Of course, but do you I think? Gotta, do I you gotta think, stick up for some of these guys? Do you out think there? that she's gonna go out and write a routine? Of course not. So it, it was just. It, you well, know. yeah, but I don't think it was intended to be that way. No, it was supposed I, to be kind of tongue-in-cheek. It was supposed to be tongue-in-cheek, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think she performed it bearably I well. Like, it wasn't great. Yeah. I thought the bit was good for, yeah. for Jay's purposes, but she's not a stand-up. No, she's not going to. No, she was just reading that shit for, she's not a stand -up, for right? Jay's well, yeah. writers. Steve from Bay Shore would, 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 you, would you slip it in, Palin? Would you, like, I know you're mad. Sarah? Yeah. yeah. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an easy one. Give us a hard one. Yeah. Ask, like, Precious or Monique. I wouldn't have. Well, if you wanna, I wouldn't want to have kids with her or anything. If you want to play the do, you know, would you game? Oh, okay. Precious. The, the, would you, is that the big fat black woman? Yeah. No. 
Nay. No. No. I, I, I'm not really into black chicks or fat people. No, exactly. So, you know, I'm, uh, this is, a, you know, this is the preference. Give us thing. a surprise, uh, uh, would you? Uh, one, oh. one you would where we would be like, ah, oh, dude, what's wrong with you? Yeah, oh, sur- God, that is just, that's su- big, fat, black Earl. A surprise one that I would do. Uh, it's got to be someone famous. It can't just be like that Yeah, someone we pick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone we all know. I, l- l- let me hang on this for a little bit. All right, bit. think it over. We got some phone uh, calls. Wait a minute. Anyway. I got I to gotta tell you. Um, yeah. Steve from Bayshore, who does a, a great Elvis, right? He uh, he goes, I tried to call in as Jesse Presley, and your stupid screener hung up on me. <laughs> he failed. <laughs> Who the fuck would hang up on that? It's like Steve, Steve does a great Steve impression. What if it was does Jesse Presley? Yes. To, hey, what if he was trying to come out on the oh. Opie and Anthony show, and you guys... An intern? An intern we hung up on guys Steve from Bay show. Show. Why are we having an intern fucking answer Oh, phones? Steve, sorry. An intern fucking denied you. Thought you weren't good enough. <laughs> I, okay, he, he, here's here's the oh. limit. Ricky Lake at a thinnest. That's 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 not bad. No, yeah, that's no. that's about as gross as I'll it go. It really isn't that bad. Yeah, that's not a surprise, really. Uh, okay, I try to get worse. Like we uh, we said, Kirstie Alley the other day. The, Kirst- fat, the fat version. Yeah, but she's like sixty now. And she's like fifty now. She's she? like yeah, fifty yeah, she's old. five, fifty six. Yeah, she's I, a bit old. It's not it's not the it's not the fat that bothers me. It's the age there. Because I fuck Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Oh, now with her now with the yes. hair. Whoa. The, oh, yeah, no, no, shitting no. yogurt Whoa. all the time. Yeah, Whoa. yeah no, no. Whoa, no. big Whoa. mess pussy. Whoa. I, I, okay, no, I'm, I'm saying ha- what, a, ha- what about oh. Jimmy's reveal? What about Sally Field? Like, give me the, the latest age you would have shagged oh. Sally Field. With her Boniva fucking... Yeah. You'd yeah, crack like, her I'd, fuck, fucking I'd her. fuck her into a fucking what, paralysis what is, right now. What is the last stage you would have shagged her? Monday. <laughs> um, I'm like, not sure. Like Forrest Gump, would have that been young enough to put it in? Like, like, no, like everyone Sally would have done Phil. the flying nun. Everyone would have slipped Smokey it in. Smokey and the Bandit. Gidget, Gidget would have gotten the Smokey shit and the bandit, out of you're probably yeah. Smokey and the Bandit, you're probably still sure fucking. You, you fuck with the Trans Am. Kerry yeah. Fisher, the last time you would have fucked her. Oof. Blues Brothers. That, that's a rough one. Blues, yeah, probably. Mm, I like probably, their attitude. Yeah, Blues Brothers. You would have shagged in Blues Brothers. What uh, what was uh, first? Blues Brothers? Oh, that's Star young Wars Sally was Field. Star Look how Wars. fucking hot Sally Field. Sally was. Field was a bit of oh, shit. Jeez, we didn't remember that, did we? Hell Where was no. that fucking Sally fucking Field? Hell. Is that when Bert was fucking uh, elbowing her fucking that, cheekbone? Uh, that's my <laughs> mama was always that's good way to before, me. That's way before movies, man. Oh yeah, Sally that's flying yeah, nun. Yeah. That's a, I think that's before that's flying nun. She was in Playboy. Nine. I didn't know Sally Field was in well, Playboy. Well, you know the fake Playboy the cover. where they kind of have a a coat on and they show like a shoulder. She's just on the cover. Uh, her ass is showing a little. She doesn't even look like her. No, she's gone a bit eighties there. I right, go back to yeah, that nineteen seventy. Yeah, I want to so. see the early early picture again, the color one. I'm telling you what, I'm fucking. I look at Sally Field in a whole new light. That's her Gidget look, I think. I think yeah. that's Gidget. That is Gidget, yeah. Yeah, fucking Gidget. All right. God uh, damn. We got, more, we got more Elvis info coming in as we find more pictures. Jesse in Massachusetts. Jesse. Hey, I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure Elvis was right after White Cliff and We Are the World remake. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was he? Yeah, yeah Google it. I then. think you might be making fun Google of it. Google it, yes. Google it. All right, <laughs> anyway, let's cut to the chase. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Elvis yeah. Presley. Elvis! What? Yes, uh, I'm here, fellas. I'll tell you, I, I'm not sure about that call screener. I told him it was over, so he says, he says to me, who? I'll tell you what, I said, how many times I got to say it? So I can rip off his head and shit down his neck. I'll tell you that right now. Elvis has got very aggressive. Maybe the screener was right. When did Elvis start fucking having no. Rodney Dangerfield's cadence? <laughs> hey, you know, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 no respect. No respect. Hey, Yeah, my wife. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we pick up on the slightest shit on this show. Uh, was that Steve? That's what Sally that? Fields' Sally ass. Field. So, it looks like Sally Fields and Hermaphrodite having a piss in a fireplace. Blow, blow that up there, uh, Dan. Yeah, her ass isn't uh, You're not, spectacular. Uh, no. Well, uh, what year Let's was that, I wonder? Let's, Let's see. Uh, it's a little manly. Yeah, the ass is a little. Uh, it's a little boy. lines are. Um, uh, she looks like Dimitri Martin in that picture. <laughs> 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 the uh, yeah, the tan line uh, thing is. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on there. 
I mean, what you, kind would, of muff, you would, though. What, what right? kind of muff? What kind oh, of muff if she turned around? She turned oh, around no. back then. Yeah, that would we know back then. She's by the fireplace. That's like Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Don't get cl too close to the fire. Looks like she's holding Fred the dog in her lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Fred. Hold on, the ass, Fred. <laughs> now there's the floor and the metal and the pedal. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it's just a bit of, uh, right, so. And now she's right. fucking. Right, oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, this drugs. proves Elvis. So, so this, this proves Elvis is indeed dead, and we can finally move on, Jim Jeffries, okay? Bob in Connecticut. Yeah, you can believe it. You want to believe it. Go ahead, Bob. Good morning, Bobo Bo Boys. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Uh, if Elvis didn't die the first time and he was faking his death, everyone knows he would have absolutely had a fucking heart attack when his daughter married uh, Michael Jackson. There you go. Uh, there racist and factual. There, <laughs> there you oh. go. Her cheeks are, her cheeks are good in that. Yeah, when, they, when they're moving. Is that bu oh, yeah, no, that's, that's, a that's a good ass. That's a good ass. It's the tan that kind of fucks It's separate. Her ass cheeks are separate. Big, well, deep ass crack. I've got the show for the last two years. Yeah. What the movie was this? She's got, she's got weak bones. Yeah, yeah. you gotta watch that. She just collapses. Oh, boy, they just, sure uh, strategically had her get into I'm bed where you couldn't see shit. Yeah, so if, uh, so okay, so you give me your one. What's the worst you'd go? I've gone. Well, I've I said, gone well, I thing... said recently, uh, recently, Kirsty Alley. We were talking about right, it. Like Kirstie, the, the, fat Kirsty Alley. You would yeah, fuck, fuck fat yeah, fat Kirsty Alley. Oh, why not? God, never. Why not? What about real Perman? Who? Real Perman? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's oh, that's no. no. That's like, fucking like, bad. I always, I always think that about real Perman and Danny DeVito, right? Because like in Hollywood, there's schools for like celebrity kids. Right? Yeah. So you got like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's little twins looking all fucking. You got Suri, fucking Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes looking. It's about these celebrity kids that are good looking kids, right? And then the corner, there'd be those fucking kids festering Danny DeVito and Rhea <laughs> Perlman's kids just going, Our parents are stars! Our parents are famous! We're movie star kids! Rhea Perlman. <laughs> like, they're oh. gonna be some ugly kids. I don't know if you can Google it, but they're gonna be some four foot tall, fat little fucks. <laughs> There goes Danny DeVito. We're, we've been trying to get him on our show for oh, years. Please. Thanks, Jim Jeff. Never oh, happened. I, 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 I say this about Danny DeVito. Uh, when they made the remake of uh, The Dukes of Hazard, where was fucking Danny DeVito playing Boss Hogg? Maybe he didn't want to do it. He's the only guy. They Burt Reynolds. He's the oh, only guy that mm. should have played Burt Boss Hogg. The kids don't look that bad. The kids don't look that bad. No, they look. No, out. they look all right. I take it back. Good looking kids. The positive, what? positive, negative thing, or negative, yeah. negative, positive. Not like like Demi Moore and Bruce Willis had that daughter that just got all the ugly bits What's of both the, of them. <laughs> all the ugly bits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. She's What's got a her name? she's uh, got a jaw that rumor. could cut diamonds. Rumor, yeah, yeah. Rumor is not a pretty girl. Um, oh my God! Look at that. It's Travis. Where'd you get that from? And Travis? his wife. How the fuck did you get a and picture of Danny Riley DeVito? He was is, doing a signing in in Long Island. And, right. and Danny DeVito is holding little baby Riley. Boy, did he love her. Yeah. Oh, he went right after. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to get him on the show for probably us. Probably wanted nah. to eat her. <laughs> you didn't get him on the show for us. He's yeah, weird, man. He likes like random college radio stations in Oregon and stuff. So like he would love us. He's. Trust me, I, I know he would love this show. I think he's like, a he's funny guy, mind. Danny DeVito. We love him. We fucking. I think he would have a great time on the show too. Uh, Anthony Larry King wants to say something. Yes, oh. Larry. Elvis, how important is the secrecy? Yeah. See. Is that is that it? It's a bit we do. That's yeah. Like, I remember. Maybe we should get rid of it. Usually, it's maybe we should fun. get rid of the bit. Usually, it's <laughs> maybe, funny. Uh -oh, yeah, yeah. If we, if we don't get any don't, reaction, don't blame the bit. Yeah. The bit's solid. <laughs> It's just it's that like the delivery long. of the bit then was poor. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I won't have you talk badly about the bit. That so is horrible. Like shit goes on on this show. Well, Freaking Elvis, uh, <laughs> you know, well, maybe that Elvis falling out of a couch like a baby. Fuck. Maybe that. Maybe Elvis is really uh, on the phone. Us. Huh? Maybe Elvis is really on the phone. Oh, where? Yeah, yeah right there. Six. Is this one. Six. This. No, it's blind six. Oh, thank you yes. very much. Six. Uh, <laughs> uh, Elvis. Hi, boys. Congratulations, Opie. Is Elvis become a gay young man at the beginning what, of his what, life? What is that? It says great impersonation of recent Elvis. Yes, I do the most up-to-date impersonation of Elvis. You want to hear it? Yes, yes. let's yes. hear it. You should yeah. have opened with it. <laughs> Is that the dropped jaw opera? He does these impersonations. I swear, you would think it was the real people. What happened? 
Yeah, I don't understand. Was that another bit of yours that failed? Yeah, yeah. It's the, like that one? <laughs> it's the listeners. It's the listeners trying to do it. This show's gone to shit since I've been gone. What, it's, what have you it's the listeners <laughs> trying to do Who it. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> Damn. All right. Yeah, we should play Laughing Elvis going in a break, and then we'll finish up with Jim Jones. Oh, you ever funny. hear Laughing Elvis? No. It's a great little clip. He's Elvis trying to get through a song. Supposedly oh, there's the one where he does, Are you lonesome? Yeah. And he's like, he's just broken up with Priscilla, and he's drunk, and he might as well go, Do you miss me? Not you fucking bitch. Are uh, you sorry? He starts like, cracking up yeah, laughing. He starts laughing, yeah. I think, and he's drunk. I think the story goes there was a guy in the front row with a bad toupee or something, or the... Yeah, something with a tail. Yeah. He just sounds drunk yeah. to me. Yeah. Well, I didn't like when Elvis laughed at me. <laughs> my lips. He looked at the bottom of my shoes. He thought I was a spaceman. <laughs> he laughed at my big wig. He shot off my heels. Didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll play this going into break. Jim Jeffries, Caroline, starting tonight. Two one two seven five oh, seven. <laughs> They're trying to find it. And I'll be in, I'll be in Jersey, uh, <laughs> Jersey in two weeks as well. For what? I'm doing a comedy club in Jersey in a couple of weeks. Which I'll one? come back to the show. Uh, Stress Factor? The comedy shop in Bloomfield? i never heard of it. In Pine Bluff. Uh, yeah, the, the, the comedy shoppy in Prime. Pine Bluff. I just go where they fucking send me, man. Sure. Yeah, all right. And what's your Twitter thing? Just Jim Jeffries with the extra E. Yeah, that <laughs> confuses people. That E kills me, man. The extra E is like um, after the other two. <laughs> it's, 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 the, it's the English spelling of it. Yeah, it's R I E S at the end. Yeah. J E F F E R I E S. Yes. 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 That's Jeff how I spell it. So Jefferies instead of Jefferies, which I was before. So Jefferies. Yeah. All right. We got it now? No laughing, Elvis? Well, who knows how it's been put in the system. Sorry, you'd, you'd think it's labeled Elvis laughing, laughing Elvis. Yeah. But, yeah. It used to be. Yeah. I'm I sure think it's that. drunk Elvis. If you go to YouTube, drunk Elvis. Well, we Elvis. had as laughing Elvis. All right. All right. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all become very aggressive. <laughs> all right, fine. I got raped when I was 12. Oh, no. <laughs> Elvis was oh, laughing no. at me as he raped me and said, they'll never <laughs> find me, they think I'm dead. We have cancelers here. We have cancelers. Yeah. That'll make Hold everything good. Righty. We, we have cancelers here, if it upsets you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we should have gave some thought to this. <laughs> Like they would have considered it. Mm. So it's good you still know your dad. <laughs> Why did they dump out of that? I know, right? Did I have a dump button, those assholes? Nah. 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 It was actually a pre record, and we thought, fuck it, let's still play it. <laughs> yeah. First 10 years of our career, we didn't have a dump button. No. Could have used one, too. Oh, boy. It would have saved us at least two a times. times. Ooh, Here's Laughing Elvis as we go to break. All yeah, right. Ah, uh, we're hanging with Jim Jeffries today. It's been about six Denver. months. We miss you, Jim. You gotta live closer to New York. You know I, that. I, I live closer than I did yeah, previous I, times in my life. That LA thing is yeah, it's still too far away for us. By the way, I can't tell you how happy I am right now. Jim just went to pour the, the final four drops of his Monster Energy drink, yeah. and half of it went onto his wrist and jacket. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know why I, that that just made my week. I just you I just had the whole the wrong bit, and it, it came out the top. It was awkward. I gotta say, also, we we talked about it during the break. Jim Jeffries somehow figured out how to grow his hair back, and we're all very very. Jim Jealous. I, it costs me money. I take the pills. The Propecia. That, that, and, and that Propecia yeah. works, huh? I got my hair back. I well, because you were, I mean, uh, you, I, had, I had the he island. had a little island in front. Did you really? I, yeah. And now, look, there's no island, island anymore. It's yeah. all connected and, and also, my hair could never grow this long, either. It used to wither at, like, a shorter length. I can, yeah. keep, I can keep going. So, you've taking Propecia. That actually works? You take Propecia, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it, um, it has dropped my libido ever so slightly, but thank God. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was it was out of control. I was just it was out of control anyway. I was just wanking on people's legs in alleyways and just. I was told that, like, I was told, you know, this is uh, could uh, you know drop your libido down a little bit and stuff. And I'm like, oh fuck, really? Nah. It it it, it hasn't nah. dropped. It hasn't, it? Oh yeah, yeah. It, it hasn't dropped my libido. Keep, like keep like you know, it's it's like anything. If there's a, if there's a new girl or something, your libido's right back up. <laughs> you know, you know, I can drop your libido familiarity. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> God damn it, Jim. There should be a fucking warning <laughs> on familiarity. I, I, I always love that when they go. Oh, that's funny. When they go, uh, a lot of men in their forties and fifties uh, get impotency. 
Really? <laughs> or have yeah. they just been married to the same bitch for 20 years? Husbands? Cause they, yeah, the husbands get it like, find me a single guy fucking a girl like a model who's, yeah, I'm 40, so it's just stopped working for me. Fuck off. <laughs> no one has ever been impotent with new pussy. <laughs> I've had God it a few damn, times. Damn. We lose your rod in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, but that's, that's awful. No, but that's that, that, I don't there's, understand there's, how you can lose the rod in the middle of it. If I, someone's I just... fucking dumb face is looking up at you with love, <laughs> and you want to go, why don't you just fucking be sexy? <laughs> and any 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 time you fuck that girl, where you have to ask why you're having sex, are you enjoying it? That, that's always one that will yeah. make me sort of lose yeah. it. Yeah, you having? I fun? can't have an I can't have an interesting show on television. Uh, and again, w combined with familiarity, right. uh, then you you kind of going like too many distractions. Like, hey, look at this! It's fucking yeah. you know, yeah. it's modern marvels. They're talking about <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> I like that episode. You know, <laughs> oh, what is this? It's fucking Mega Machines. What they use? The and then you realize, oh fuck! I better get concentrating. <laughs> you know, yeah, fucking. Yeah. Well, mm, we got I got I, I, I got this routine that I'm talking about at the moment on stage, which is I'm not going to do the routine, but it's 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 basically the point that 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 women. I, I had a text message from a girl I stopped fucking a little while ago, and the text message basically went, "Oh, by the way, you never made me come." Oh. <laughs> and, I, and, and I found and I found offence to that. Into the point is. Does she honestly think she was the one who made me come? Uh, <laughs> that's I, fucking I funny. make me come. I make me come. All the horrible things I have in my head is what yeah. makes me come. <laughs> right? <laughs> they have very little to do with it. They're just the container I shoot yeah. into. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious though. It's, it's a this, warm, like, wet, like, rubbing how dare action. you take credit? I have to fucking choke you and do horrible <laughs> things. I. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So for me Holy to come now, I dude. have to do horrible things to you to make me come. If you were just, you think, just the movement with your hips? Oh. And the weird thing is, to make a girl come, as far as I can tell, to make them come, what you got to do is you got to lay on your back and just fucking lay still so they can do that little thing. Because girls don't like it penetrating into them. They like doing that rock grind. And, the rock yeah, which back. hurts. Yeah, that grind sometimes where it's that goes... rubbing up against the top bit yeah, yeah. inside. That's the bit and that sometimes makes... that'll bend your dick like w in ways it's not supposed to be bent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did you, you should have wrote back? Uh, who cares? That's what I would have written. Who cares? Good. You don't deserve to come. <laughs> you fucking rotten pussy. Uh, 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 you rotten pussy. Yeah. Have it, like I, I don't. I also have this. I also have this theory. I was, I was chatting my friend about this the other day. Is I've never. I don't think I've ever truly made love to a person. Yeah. Like this whole idea of women making. Love, well, I, I, I think the difference is between making love and fucking. Is when you're making love, you go slower. And you don't call them names. <laughs> and that's it, right? When I'm uh, making love, yeah. my fucking my dick withers like tea has been spilled yeah, on like, it. I, could I can't keep a hold on that shit. I could never look at There's a person a lovingly during sex. No. There's a lot of passionate kissing during making love. Like mouth kissing, not just yes. kissing neck and things like yeah. that. Like passionate mouth kissing, um, holding of the back of the head kind of a thing. And, never and done that. You've never done no. that? No, I've never done you that. You don't want to ever like do that? No. 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 Unless it's you're a prostitute. Fucking, no, it's kind of like <laughs> old, it's kind of old school movie <laughs> fucking I don't, fucking. I don't think kiss her for that long if she's spitting cum back down my throat. <laughs> it's from here to eternity <laughs> fucking. You no, know? it does you're, nothing for me. That, no, 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 no. Nothing, a gentle hand down the side no. The hip or anything. Unless, like, unless someone's no. my girlfriend, it's like here you go, load receptacle. <laughs> take, take that, Holy take fuck. that, and fucking hit the brakes. <laughs> there's some well endowed. I'm a little distracted. I'm sorry, because there's a well endowed girl outside the studio that really was trying to get our attention, and she was waving, well. and then she was talking to Kenny. Ken, what was that about? Uh, Kenny's okay, so silly. Who was that? Who, who was that well endowed woman? What? She was uh, trying to get our attention. Kenny? She's very friendly. She's mean on radio on Twitter. She like uh, does like Caliente or the Heat oh, okay. like, music thing. She works here. Why you, would she wait like she a mad here. woman out there? She, she's, she's a fan. She's a fan of the show. Bring her in. She, she I thought went, she was a porn star or something. She went to school with Sam. Oh, and all right. I'm a, sorry. No. I fucking wrecked it. Can, can we get her I in? I thought it was going to be she's... something because how she was uh, acting out there. I didn't get to see her. I want to see her. That's all right. We're like fucking animals. We're like kids. Nah, because she works here, so now when we fucking bring her in and drool over yeah, and try to get her top that. off, we'll be fired or something. Yeah, but I'm not always here. I'm only here occasionally. Uh, that's yeah. a good point. We can I, blame can, it on I you. can do that. Blame it on uh, me. And we got a guy in Seattle. Uh, sir, you got a story that you need to tell Jim Jeffries, it says. Yeah, hey, boys. Hey. hey. What's up, crybaby? Hi. Oh. Hi. 
Hey, I was crying too. Uh, hey, so when I was in college, uh, I fucked this chick, got genital warts. About a year later, they kept coming back after all this treatment, and this this girl said, I need a ride from Portland home, and I live on the west coast of, of Washington. So I have this big fucking wart on my cock, and I don't want this chick sucking my dick knowing that I got a wart on my cock. So I was in the shower, took a pair of scissors, oh. and chopped that fucker off. Why would you do that? Now you have a nice big I, open like, wound. Yeah, like, like no, no, no one wants to suck a cock covered in blood. <laughs> it bled for about 15 minutes. I put a band-aid on it. A band-aid on her. Yeah, that's discreet. A band-aid's discreet. It, it looks like the, the fucking it looks like the fucking drummer in the Revolutionary War posters. <laughs> I, 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 it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It healed up. The the scab fell off really quick. I got blown three times when I brought her home. It's great. Was I, there, I, wait, wait, wait. You're an inspirational I, man. I love Jimmy's line, but I need to know: Was there actually a Revolutionary War poster though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I know the image that you went on, yeah, but, I, I, but was there an actual poster that they... There was actually. Dur during the, the actual war, they just kind of handed no, out the poster? No, it was after. Poster. Yeah, it was 1776. <laughs> it was a, got a little drum. I, I've got a General Watch story, which is oh, just, right, just right. a little bit like... A little so, different? So, yeah, I'm, that's the only <laughs> VD I've ever had is the occasional General Watch, which a lot of people get, and they just freeze them off, right? Now, I, I had one... And then I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I think I was in Australia at the time, right? And, and, uh, and, and I fucking, I get this thing frozen off. And it takes like sort of eight days for the scab to fall off and for oh, everything to fall wow. off. So you got this, fro so you're out of, you're out of service for eight days when you get it frozen, right? So I met this girl and she's like, oh, I heard that you just fuck everybody here, like this, right? And I'm there going, and I was like, well, I can't fuck it because I got this, I got this scab, right? Because <laughs> well she's, she's, my cause cause she's right. Thing. Yeah, because, because I'm right. So you know what I said to her? I went, uh, Oh, look, the thing is, uh, I'm just sick and tired of sleeping with every woman I meet. I'd like to make a meaningful relationship and get to know someone before I fuck them. Oh, so I, you're I, biding time. I, went, no. I, I got to know her for a few days until my scab fell off. Which <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, she thought I was the most sensitive guy on earth. Oh, what a <laughs> then she realized you were a piece of shit after <laughs> no, you didn't she, call her? She did not. Yeah, that happens. I didn't call her. Because <laughs> I, 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 always, I always like that when women, when women say, uh, they go, they say something like, uh, they go, oh, I've been dating a lot of guys who uh, just, you know, after they got what they wanted, broke up with me. No, no, you're shit in bed, right? If we got what we wanted, we would have wanted it again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe. We got what we wanted. Yeah, if we, if we didn't get what we wanted. That's why they're not calling you, because we didn't get what we wanted. You were fucking rubbish. <laughs> Take some responsibility in your life. Holy shit, man. Fucking bravo. Oh. Bravo. <laughs> Boy, you have quite a, a take on things. Thank you. That's, yeah. a, that's a good take, though. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a very unique take. I'm very sure. surprised, though, that like in none of your life, and, and this includes Mr. Norton, in, in none of your, your the time in your sexual history, you've never done that where you... You were, uh, like, romantic with your fucking... Passionate. I have, but only when romance was the inappropriate way. Like, if, uh, again, I was joking when I said with a hooker, but I wasn't. Because if, if romance is inappropriate, like, if you're not supposed to be loving, then it turns me on. If a girl is a skanky or dirty, then it's turning, it turns me on to be loving. If a girl is very loving and doting and I want to be nasty... It's usually the opposite. Wow. Because you can get what, getting sex is easy. You can get whatever the fuck you want. It's a matter of finding what turns you on is difficult. Mm hmm. You know? But mm. you can't turn that off. I get bored in very quickly. Wow. I, very quickly I, I get bored. I've started off making love wow. to a woman, but it doesn't end that way. I've gone in there with every intention. <laughs> every with yeah, good yeah, intention. Like, I've gone in there thinking, yeah, and then like five minutes of just, I'm not going to come. Punch her in the face, I'm there. <laughs> Punch her in the face? Well, maybe, I might be yeah, exaggerating. Yeah, I understand. A little, a little, the stuff, a, yeah, a little, a little rough, rough housing. The ribs, a little yeah. rough housing, maybe. Some hair pulling. A little... Yeah, if, if I cut you, I come. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you bleed, I'm coming. Yeah. Oh, shit. No, I, I yeah, I, no, I think, I think maybe when I was like a teenager, back yeah. when I thought I was in love with every single girl I ever fucking shagged, when I was like seven. Yeah, that's always a bitch back in those days. Love doesn't turn like, me on, it's not sexy. I'm so, no, there's there's girls that, like like Jim was saying, there's girls, certain girls of certain types, and, and even what you were saying, but with me it's the opposite. It's the way it's supposed to be. Like if there's a girl that's kind of like into that 
romantic, loving kind of fucking. That's what you do. Ugh. And yeah. and if if there's a girl into yeah. some some rough shit, you couldn't then that's what you do. No, yeah, that implies that implies neediness to me. When I feel like someone needs something from me. It just makes me want to fucking tuck uh, my dick back and fucking brick them across the forehead. Uh, uh, See, uh, I fucking uh, hate no, them I, for it. I'm with Anthony on this one, so this room uh, is divided. You no, guys... no, no, no. Because the, the woman should want sex as much as you. It should be an animal activity. It, love There's and sex should not. With... You can be loving afterwards. Right. Afterwards, you can lay with a person, be kissing and cuddling afterwards and yep. before. But during, that's like, you know, it's like uh, fucking being friendly during sport. I see. <laughs> you know, you're in a competition here. When it's over, you're shaking hands, but yeah, during your game. Yeah. You know. Yeah, when you're over, it's good game. Hey, yeah. I'll, the see, animal I'll see you on the national team. I, I agree with you. The animal instinct thing has to be part of yeah. the, uh, the relationship. It's yeah. like it's like those women but, those women who say, oh, I won't fuck you on the first date or I wait five dates or something to fuck you. I don't want to fuck you then. I want someone to fuck me as much as I want to fuck them. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I see that as more passion. I don't see that as slutty. If someone... You know what I mean? I just see that a woman doesn't dig me if she doesn't want to shag me after the first couple of dates. Yeah, it's like, why wouldn't she want to do that the first time? Yeah. like You do. Yeah. Don't you dig me as much as I dig you? I see it as an insult. And I if there's like this waiting period, what are you, a gun? I, I, fucking, hate, yeah, but the, I hate it when they, they give you sex like it's like a privilege. No, it's not. It's fucking 50 No, but 50. see, the, but, the, mm. but society mm. makes that a problem. Yeah. Makes, so sad. Makes, <laughs> no, I know, but yeah. it makes the women... Yeah. Feel like they're fucking whores if if they're fucking like guys do. Uh, exactly. They don't know how to just That's fuck you and, and no, fucking they, say I fuck you. They got you guys. that in the back of their head but that this, they've been this, told their whole lives if you're yeah. if you're uh, sexually active then you're a, you're a slut. But guys, you know, even your dad's like, all right, son, way yeah. to go. Yeah, but the maths don't add up. Then you're saying that that like it's, it's it's like when they say, oh, men cheat more than women. It's impossible that men cheat more than women because for every man that's cheating, he's got to be fucking a chick. Yeah, but a lot of them are single. They don't want to be cheating. Yeah, but th but then uh, there's an argument that women are fucking well, bitches for sleeping with married men. Dude, I have no faith in them anyway. I, you know how many married women are fucking awful, and I, and I don't want to hear any blame from guys. It's not my problem. You fucking made shitty decisions. Too fucking bad. I, every, I, believe me, I don't have any faith in any woman I've ever dated. Yeah. And you shouldn't have any faith in any chick you ever date. Yeah. No, I mean, I, that's I, a really bleak way to look at it, it but it's the is. reality. It's I, the fucking I, I, reality. I dated a girl for four years, and uh, I came home, and the fucking house was empty, right? Now, this is the deal, right? <laughs> <Jesus> <laughs> the fucking house is empty. Now, I got, a, I got I dated her for years. I got her a job on this uh, fucking TV show, right? This for the for TV company in Britain that I did a few TV shows for. I got her a job on reception, right? Yeah. And then there was a very popular British TV show that I was meant to be on, Right, a car show and talking about cars and racing cars and stuff, right? Which I was really excited about. Different from just doing a stand up spot like a proper guest. Yeah. I was booked to do it and because I was, I was good friends with the host of the show. I got her a job on the show. Then she starts fucking the director. So not only did I lose my girlfriend and she moved all the furniture out, but I wasn't allowed on the fucking show. And you hooked her up. And I hooked her up with the bloody gig. Oh, oh my God. They're married now. So that, that bitch. Yeah. They're married now? <laughs> they're married. That was the same weekend. You know that footage of me getting punched, right? Oh, I'd shit. I'd come home from a weekend of gigs with like a black eye and I opened the door and went, honey, Honey. Oh, uh, man. And she took the telly. Like, there's nothing worse than coming back with a black eye and the TV's gone. And you're just sitting <laughs> yeah. there on the couch just crying to yourself without even a distraction. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, so that was the end of her. Oh. That was... That I, is I, really I was, was going to propose to her about six months later as well. We've been going out for Good years. Good thing you didn't. Yep. Yeah. She had that sitting there waiting. Yeah, so she fucked me Chicken over. time bomb, that one. But you know, it's I tell you, see, I I can't break up with girls. I'm hopeless, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if if I break up with a girl, I'd rather just let the relationship go to shit than <laughs> until they <laughs> dump me. Anthony, I, you want to I take this one? I have been in that situation. I can't do countless times where it's Describe like it. the best thing to do would be to break up. But I will just wait until there are two miserable fucking people just snarling at each other. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, that, I gotta do that back to back sleeping in bed <laughs> where you're just like back to back, not even fucking near each other. I, I they have to dump me. They ha I have yeah, to yeah. push them into the ground until Why they're broke. Why is that? Because I tried dumping them, they start crying, and I cave in. Isn't that terrible? Where, 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 where a woman starts crying, and I go, okay, I'm breaking up, and she starts crying, and I go, no, no, it's all you, a good person. I do like you. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm breaking up, I'm breaking up with you. Shit. You're a good person. No, I do like you, I'm sorry, no, I, I, I didn't mean any oh. of that.
Why? Why right? does it feel where, good where, when where, someone where, says something a, you a, feel? A girl will dump a girl will dump me like this. I'm sleeping with your friend, and you're a prick, and you're fucking your mother's ruined you, you manic depressive cunt. And you, and you see, they go, oh, stop turning the knife, and then they just go, and I'm taking the TV. Stop turning the knife. Right, and then you just, oh, lay, you just lay it in a heap on the ground, oh. and then they just throw you a picture of them sucking another man's cock oh. and walk out of the house. Jesus, Jim. We're, wow. we're, we're all just, just, oh, wow. I'll just sit there going, please, but I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> uh, fuck. Steven S. from Bayshore has been trying to get through to let everyone know that was, wasn't him doing the Elvis thing yet. No, we didn't. No, so. I know. All right. He, he, he has a reputation to uphold there. So, Ted in Providence. Ted. Hey, guys, what's happening? Hey, man. Hey, Jimmy, happy oh birthday. God. Is it your birthday? Oh, though? thank you, sir. Yeah, it is. Hey, oh, happy birthday. That's why they so, Jimmy. cupcakes earlier. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to tell you that you just caused me to have a major revelation in my life when you were talking about how uh, the doing the inappropriate thing with girls is what turns you on. Yes. I was driving, listening to you, and I went, holy shit, he's talking about me. Because no, when I have a good girls, girlfriend... <laughs> what's that? <laughs> Not, nothing continue. <laughs> guys are... Oh, <laughs> you guys are dicks. But yeah, so yeah. when I have like a good girl... I want to do awful things to her, and every time I'm with a complete skag, I, like, stroke her face and tell her she's beautiful. Yeah, it's just the opposite. It's because pornography has ruined me, and I don't like, <laughs> even in my personal life, like, neediness comes out in different ways. Like, I don't like when I feel like there's certain times when I'm kissing a girl, if I feel like she's just kissing me too much and she needs to kiss me, I want to fucking punch her in the face. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. It yes. drives me nuts. I'm a pervert. And I get neediness shuts me down forever. As soon as I, not that a person needs me in their life, that's fine. But, but, but if it turns a, me off sexually completely. But if it's a hooker and it's fake neediness, then that's a turn. Because that's dirty. It's oh, not being hot. needy. Yeah. It's a way to like say those loving things and caring things, but still be perverse about it. I like to All be right. perverted. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Thanks, Faggot. Bye. All right, buddy. All right. Be good. All right. All right. Thanks, Faggot. Yes. Faggot. Yes. He was polite and correct. You know what faggot, <laughs> you know what faggot means in, uh, in Britain, in Wales? Bundle of sticks? No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a meatball. <laughs> is it? It's a big meatball you have in a tub and <laughs> you eat it, it, right? Yes. And then, like, but it's like, <laughs> With it's, cream it's, sauce. it's just wonderful to see on a menu. When you yeah. first see it, you fit, like, you go, big sausage. Bucket of faggots. I want a bucket of faggots. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice sense of humor over there. Bucket well. of faggots. And I put faggot bowl of meat. There it is. Mr. Four pork faggots. <laughs> That's hysterical. Why don't you guys speak English? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the word fag faggot comes from the, from the Bible, the derogatory term, doesn't it? Does the, so it? The, so the sodomites are the faggots of hell. They burn the fires because they're the kindling. Really? Yeah, yeah, that's where it comes from. There's it's four pork faggots. There's four pork Mi faggots. Mr. Brains, of course. No one else picked up picked up on Mr. Brains. Faggots and they're balls. <laughs> they're balls of meat. They're yeah. just balls. They're, that's his proper faggots underneath proper that one. Proper faggots. <laughs> <laughs> and you get them in a styrofoam container covered in gravy, you eat them with a fork. Oh, they fucking dig them up, man. <laughs> And a side order of sausage. Did they really have to do that to really beef up the display of the faggots? <laughs> what country is that? Wales. That's, that's Wales that Jesus. does that. Yeah, Wales. It's the Welsh. But they have their own. La that's the most fucked up language in the world. The Welsh, man. Yeah. It's got. It, they've got train station names that are. That like put in the longest train station name in Wales or the longest uh, train station Wales train oh, I've station. I've seen this before. Yeah, but it's like this is. Yeah, no, I know. It's real. Fucking, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's like who? It's it's like the longest word in the world. Who, yeah, who would think this was a good idea? No, it's only this thing. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone from faggots to. To Jimmy punching a woman in the face. Punching that's it. her in the face if she's too yeah, that, loving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God forbid a girl wants to give Jimmy fucking some no. some affection and actual love and stuff. Jimmy will punch her in the that's face. That's different. No. That's, <laughs> really? To me, that's not that's necessarily needy. Uh, yeah. That's not needy. If it's needy, it's a turn off. Oh, okay. Look at the name of this train station. That's one word. That's one oh, word. L-L-A-N... 
Really? Am I going to go through these? Lanfair pull go will and a gill of... No, it goes about ten letters without a vowel. You can, you can actually buy a fare to the end of the name. Hello! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> is that the big joke there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is like, that's an old joke there. Yeah. <laughs> that was... Uh, <laughs> They love that one. Then they, they they laugh, go off, have a couple of faggots, and they're home for bed. Unbelievable. Oh, Wales. <laughs> what a silly place. All right. It's where Tom Jones is from. Well, uh, Shirley Bassey and Tom Jones and Catherine Zeta-Jones. It's yeah. all they've really got. A lot of Joneses over in uh, Wales, I guess. A huh? lot of Joneses, yeah. yeah. And they're meant to be great singers or something. There's something genetic about them that they can all sing. They all love a good sing. Yeah? Well, yeah. that Tom Jones can fucking sing, I'll he, tell you he that. Can He's got some set of pipes. I like. You know what I like about him? He just owns up. Like, like, his wife's really old. Right, yeah. and just as old as him. Like, not older, older, but he married her when he was, like, 20. He's still with her, and he just openly says, Oh, yeah, when I'm on tour, I fuck other people. <laughs> and uh, But I always go back to the green, green grass at home. Just, oh, uh, yeah, there you go. And they go, Ah, oh, come on, Tom. You're like, you ever heard that Sean Connery story about St. Andrews? It's like an urban myth or something, but, like, it's... Uh, the, the, you know, St. Andrews Golf Course in Scotland. Yes, of, yes, course, of course. That's where they right. invented the game, except they called it golf without the L. So, so there's, there's, uh, <laughs> He's telling us. <laughs> no, because, because Sean Connery, uh, he, he's Scottish and he likes golf or whatever. So he's been married to the same woman for bloody 50 years, right? So this is meant to be a true story. I've had, heard it from a few different people. but um, So he's out with his BBC executives and they're trying to get him to do the voiceover for some TV show. Then at the ninth hole, they all stop to have a drink and they all start doing what boys do and boys uh, alone start talking about chicks they're fucked right <laughs> and uh and then, they, then one of them goes oh come on sean you're a big movie star you must have fucked a few chicks in your day and then sean connery sort of goes <clears throat> <clears throat> and he stands up and leaves the table right the other execs look at this guy and go are you a fucking idiot He's been married to the same woman for 50 years, you fucking idiot. You don't ask Sean, <laughs> Sir Sean Connery a question like that, you fucking moron. And then Sean Connery comes back, he goes, sorry about that bit of indigestion. Ursula Andrews, in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula Andrews, in the ass. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's funny. God damn. She that's was the world. sensuous nurse. Yeah. That was a movie. My dad took me to a drive-in, oh, and I shit. forget what the early show was, but that was the late show, and he wouldn't let me stay and watch the oh, essential, essential nurse. blocker. Yeah. My, my dad my dad was so desperate for, any, like, before the internet, and I mean, even, now, even now he wouldn't know how to do it. He, was so, he couldn't have porn in the house. So desperate to look at a bit of tit or something. My mom wasn't an attractive mm. woman, right? So so me and my brothers, when we were, I was like sort of 13, 14, we'd be watching a movie. It, it didn't have to be a movie like Porky's. It could be anything, right? We'd just sit in the living room, and in unison go, oh, look at those tits, like that, right? <laughs> and then we just stop. And my dad would sort of wander out from his bedroom into the living room, just sort of go, well, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you all watching? And then he'd watch the rest of the film, <laughs> just hoping that those tits would show up. <laughs> oh, oh, we read that. You go, you go, you go. What's on TV tonight? You'd be reading the TV. Go like this. You go, okay. Well, on Channel Two, you got Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you got Top Gun the movie on Channel Nine. You got this, this, and there was this the station called SBS, which was the foreign station, right? And then on SBS, we have a uh, documentary Jesus. about Lithuanian prostitutes, and then we'd go through, and that would go, eh, let's see that, uh, that thing. <laughs> it's the and Lithuanian. Because it, because it would be in foreign language, he'd sit through this whole film that had nothing <laughs> Just to, play, to see like, a <laughs> this bleeding tit. Or... No, but it wouldn't even be in the guide. We made it up when we were reading oh, it. Oh, shit, right? you so asshole. He'd read, he'd read <laughs> so he'd be watching a documentary on fucking <laughs> Hungarian <laughs> steel mills, right? Just going, <laughs> going for the whores. Yeah, the whores are going to come out soon. This is my big moment. Holy fuck, that is what, good. What, Gunther what didn't have a pair? No, nah, Gunther had big tits and it still does, yeah. but she, uh... Yeah, she didn't fucking. I, I got. I could, I'll tell you a story off air about my old man and and uh, stuff, but I can't say it. We don't. We don't socialize off air. No, you know what? Because people Better get be people short get fucking in the up. elevator. Yeah. No, because things. If I say something <laughs> oh, on here, people put them on the internet, and then it gets back to Australia. Because I got in trouble with yeah, my mum for something that I said before, and I wrote, I wrote to this guy on uh, YouTube on his YouTube account. I said, "Can you take that down? My mum's really upset about what I said about her." Right? And he goes. He writes me back. Goes. I've taken it down, mummy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> At least he was cool, you know. Because some of these guys are like, fuck Mummy, you. Mummy, no, yeah, yeah. I'm All right, listen, why don't we save some of this shit for tomorrow, Jim Jeffries? Because uh, you're going to be here tomorrow. Yeah. Caroline's starting tonight. Big run, man. Jesus, they gave you a million fucking shows at Caroline's, and they're all going to sell out. I'm telling you. 
Are you doing uh, Sunday night too or no? We're doing Sunday night as well. They said uh, it's they not on the schedule. So. They said it is selling very well. So it, it, it so really is. Jim Jeffries only, only comes around like I don't know, like twice a year at this point. So make sure you see him at Caroline's this weekend. Two one two seven five seven forty one hundred. I'm sure a bunch of us yes. will be at uh, some shows. And for the people that made it all the way to the end of this motherfucking radio show, we're going to give somebody $500. That's right. What? From Fuse Meeting, Anthony. It's a lot of money. Fuse Meeting. We're going to take a random caller right now. That's uh, actually F-U-Z-E e. meetings. Oh, it is meetings. Is it meetings or meeting? Uh-oh. Yeah, I we think it's just, just meeting. Well, oh, it, they both work. Yeah, yeah that, it's like when you get meeting, it better also you better also get the domain. So it's meeting fusemeetings dot com because they want people to go to their website. With That's why Z. they're giving us money to give away. So it's f u z e meetings dot com. Fuse meetings. Random caller will get that now as we go to break and uh, get ready for Ron and Fest. Jim Jeffries, great appearance today, man, and we'll do it again tomorrow. Oh, thanks. I want to plug one thing. I got, oh yeah, uh, of course. Jim. Chicago next Friday, Saturday. Uh, Vernon Hills one night. St. Charles the next night. Just those two nights in Chicago area. And uh, check out my CDs on iTunes if you want. They will. Which, which room are you doing in Chicago? They have. Vernon Hills uh, Zanies oh, okay. and the uh, Zanies in St. Charles. Two shows. I want to go to Chicago. Can I, I go to Chicago thing. next week? I love Chicago. Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. Chicago audiences are great. They really are. I want to yeah. go. All right, man. We'll do this uh, tomorrow yes. for Friday. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. See you.